Okay. Oh, sorry. Right. Yeah, I'm not speaking for Captain, of course. Is, is this thing live? This thing is live, guys. What's oh, going on? Oh, Hello, everybody. Hi. I'm joined today by an esteemed panel. We got the Captain and, of course, Howdy. RG. How are you gentlemen doing? Wonderful. How are you? Doing How well. Are you doing well. How are you doing, Marco? Hold on. I got to adjust your mic volume. You can't, you can't be speaking right into the mic. Hold on. <laughs> I usually don't put this thing on. Uh -huh. Hold on. It sounds good though. It's crisp. I got you. Here, I just adjusted it. Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. So before we begin, guys, I wanted to talk about the best releases. According to me, the best releases of 2021. Quick wristwatch check. What are we wearing? I'm wearing the Bruce Wayne, the Daily Beater. I went with uh, the AP Royal Oak. Oof. And we got the Lajin Big Guy. I love it. Love the choices. Got it. Great selection. Thank you. Those are some good stuff. Um, so, yeah, I guess we could jump right into it. I did make like a little presentation. Um, was it? A, I was trying it, to be. Is it you know, PowerPoint? Little... Is it PowerPoint? Like, uh, the yeah, it's time? a PowerPoint. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. I, I upstaged. No, no, not upstaged. I stole the idea from, uh, from, from what's his name? Brian, Brian. has great presentation value. Yes, sir. The, the, yeah. We got the Lone Star Watch Collector joining us. Just before we begin, of course, I wanted to. Uh, Greet all the guys in the chat. We've got Mr. GMT joining us as always, reminding everybody to hit that up vote button. Thank you very much. We got wings and watches. We got my man Michael. Hope you're doing well, Michael. Hey, Michael. We got Ryan and we've got yellow raincoat already. So I guess let's just jump straight into it. We got Mr. Cassio in the background, but he's not connected yet. But I will add him once he is. The first watch, one that's actually a pretty recent release. Um is this Moser Heritage Dual Time. Guys, I'm on record saying, I'm on record saying that nobody makes a GMT quite like Rolex, but I don't know. This is pretty damn phenomenal. I think this is spectacular. I mean, it's beautiful. The, the dial, the outline around the date window, like, you know, the, the proportions are really nice. Like, I, right. I didn't expect this to be nice like this. You know, like, this is... I, I I love this. I love the color. Yeah, I'm I'm gushing a little bit. I'll be honest. Right. We got a Sean the chart joining us in the chat. We got MJ King. We got Mike from Basil's Bezels on IG. Hello, hello. We got wings and watches. And Michael says, I hope the 5990R is on the list. Uh, you'll have to wait and see. Wait and see. But yeah, this is this is my first pick, and the reason is is. I I just don't think I've seen anything else GMT wise that really compares. I think this is really spectacular and what's cool as well is you can actually hide that gmt hand behind the hour hand so then becomes a three-hander which is mm. even more awesome oh, right cool. it becomes like a discrete mm. three-hander rather that's, than a that's, GMT. that's amazing this is the stealthiest gmt i've ever seen exactly I, 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 isn't that I, honestly nice? this blows me away i've never seen this before so this is going to be a fun 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 show um i love the dial the dial the dial, the dial. Yeah, dial. Yes. Somebody guys, needs to go ask H. Moser if, it'll, if it's a good investment. <laughs> the purple fume. Is right. It purple fume. The, what a color. Oh, no. Yeah. Multiple feel like. I have to be honest. I don't love the color. You don't love the color? Really? It's purple. No. I, pr I would prefer if it was like a blue or... A yeah, it's more like a it's um, like a wineish yeah. color, right? Burgundy kind of thing. Oh, I love um, it. Burgundy I, wine, listen, I do like right? it. Burgundy I just wine. prefer blue. You know what I mean? If it was a blue dial, I'd be all over this, hundred percent. Now, one thing that's interesting, this is kind of a shot of the movement. Um, obviously, Moser makes its own hairspring, its own balance wheel, uh, the whole nine. But it also has this fluted fluting, like this coin edging almost on the side of the case, right? Which I think right. is super interesting. I think that looks amazing. Um. But yeah, movement overall, listen, it's a combination of machine finishing and and hand finishing. So to keep the price down, really, because, um, yeah, you know, they, they try to make these watches accessible for the everyday punter. Um, and we got Mr. Cassio joining us. Welcome to the show. And we got as well, my guy, Brian Thanks, man. from Thanks. Beyond Time. The dial. It's all about the dial on this one. <laughs> We got Wristwatchholic tuning in, saying aloha. Welcome to the show. Thanks for joining hey. us. 
and MJ King saying the like button has been smashed. Thank you very much. So yeah, in terms of case size, it's 42 millimeters. But one thing that's interesting is the lug to lug is like 48. So it's not super huge. Like even Tim also said, I know he's like a little overblown, right? Like, oh yeah, this watch can can fit on like a five inch wrist, but it's like, yeah, no, it's not gonna work. Yeah, but I think 48 millimeters is pretty, pretty reasonable. Like it probably fit on a smaller wrist. Price is twenty one nine hundred. Probably just wait till this is, you know, a couple of years from now. That'll be um, way down. Three so, day power reserve. So Moser doesn't. Uh, does does Moser go over retail, or do they generally? Uh... No, not not as of yet. They usually sink. Right. Especially this one. They're not hugely popular. And we've got the Lone Star Watch Collector starting us off with the first super chat of the night. Five dollars saying you're all right, Marco. Hey man, as long as I'm half as good as this dial. I appreciate it. Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. <laughs> you just need to have the that sunglasses was, was action actually, in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you, can we do that the whole show? Because it would be yeah. like it would be like Tim Masso is actually here on the podcast. I right. recommend it Listen. for wrists up to the size of thirty meters. <laughs> it can fit an elephant wrist or a chicken wrist. While it, <laughs> while it reads large, it does c counter the wrist very well. <laughs> This is actually a perfect strap option for about 45 million different straps that you can actually purchase at watchbox.com, guys. Be <laughs> sure to check out the listing. Thanks for logging on. Yeah. Actually, Kurt, oh, you no. do it really well. Thank we you. do love Tim. We, we do, do love Tim. Yeah, awesome. He's crazy. All, all out of love right there. That you... right. Although, I don't like when Moser has the hidden signature on the, on the dial. I like it. We can actually read their... Uh... Yeah, I'm with you as well. I do prefer when there is a branded dial, although it's not that bad given the fact that, I mean, you know who this is from, right? So Yeah, yeah it's great yeah. Moser. All in or all out for me. I'm, I, I, you know, right. I think I prefer all in. I'd rather see the logo on it, but. We got no, Paddock Attic joining the show saying to upvote. Thank you very much. We got Beyond Time chiming in with a $5 super chat. Thank you so much saying it's all about the dial. Don't forget about the investment potential, guys. It's a great investment. <laughs> Sorry, we keep alluding to uh, we keep alluding to this uh, this FP Jour and Kevin O'Leary video. <laughs> the dial. It's the all dial. about he's the dial. A, well, he's such a jerk. <laughs> right. It was a, oh man, that was hilarious. And we got Is there a loom my, shot of this watch. Uh, I can get a loom shot. I don't have a loom shot currently. Because those uh, those big, look like big plots of loom for the numbers. Maybe. Yeah. So they're what's it called? I think it's like. Glordex or something like that, it's Floridex, some some weird name, uh, but it's actually like super luminova. Basically, the the indexes are like solid blocks of super luminova. So it's I think it's pretty damn impressive. Yeah, we got your friend Mike with a five dollars saying just stopping in to show support. Your friend Mike really appreciate that. We got the real cars and Kronos saying, "Hey biscuits, been a spell, dude. If you want to jump on, let me drop the link for you." Oh shit, Absolutely. I just lost the link. Uh, one second, hold on. I clicked X by accident. Let me get that back. There we go. We'll talk Moser. I like yeah, the date. Is... I like the date uh, placement as well, and the window. Yeah. It looks very, very sharp, very nicely done. It's awesome. It's yeah, I really, really like a this. great looking watch. Like I, it, it is. Yeah, agreed. And we got the real cars and Chrono with a twenty dollars super chat. Thank you very much. Saying nice panel. Appreciate that. If you want to jump on, I just dropped the link. By all means, you're more than welcome. So yeah, I, I like a lot of things. I like the discrete uh, GMT hand because you can put it behind the hour hand, it becomes a three-hander. Yeah. I like the date window. It's not obtrusive. It fits properly with the overall dial. I, I'm not the biggest fan of burgundy, although I do think it's really nice. Um, I think the thickness is excellent, 11.6. You can wear this as a dress watch all day. Um, obviously, the price is the price, whatever. Three-day power reserve I think is awesome. And uh, yeah, overall, this this is definitely... I think a good way to start the show, this is an amazing release by Moser. This is and really yeah. great. Okay, nothing else to add. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, let me get a shot. Let, let me ask you, Marco, you would know, off the top of your head, what watch does that remind you of in terms of the dial layout, uh, the numbers, the way they are, the Arabics, they're kind of yeah. large. That's a I'm, good question. I'm, I'm feeling, and I'm not sure which one it is, but in my head I'm thinking, uh, Jesus. So here's the thing about this watch, right? It's actually inspired by Moser pocket watches. So if you look at the onion style crown, the fluting of the crown, the fluting of the, the side of the case, even the wire style lugs, right? Because officer 
uh, so they would convert in the you know in the First World War and Second <clears throat> World War pocket watches into wrist watches, right? By soldering on lugs and then you can put a strap on it, right? Um, so I think this is like it's just awesome. I love I love the design. I think it's pretty unique overall for Moser itself. Yeah. I don't really think it looks like anything. Ma Michael Sugar said it looks like, and I think this is the one I was thinking of, the Patek 5522. <laughs> and this is the one you were thinking of. <laughs> or, am I, or is it completely out of... Out of okay, uh, let me ask you, what does it look... What's a 5522? Well, we'll see when you pull it up. <laughs> That's what you were thinking about. Uh, but it, but it no, but it has the Arabic, <laughs> Arabic numerals. Yeah, this is the only one it could be. Yeah, actually, I see this. Yeah, 100%. That's a great point, Michael. Yeah. Cool Although the lugs and case mm -hmm. and crown are totally different. The numbers. I, it's yeah, the numbers. The numbers. It's, yeah. it's just the, the Arabic. It's just yeah. the railroad minute track as well. You know what I mean by that? You see how it's like a railroad mm -hmm. style yeah. minute track? Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the, the hands. For the Moser. Yeah, the hands as well. Yeah, you try to have smart us, Marco. <clears throat> So, <laughs> no, so, so Marco, can I ask a slightly esoteric question? Yeah, sure. So the, the the watches have different styles of minute tracks. Is there any practical application to the the different styles, or is it purely just stylish? Hold on, say that one more time. Uh, the minute tracks, the minute tracks yeah. that you get around a watch, and and all watches have slightly different visual styles. Is there was there like historical practical application to certain ones over others? No, I think it... it's just, yeah, it's just, uh, what's it called? Like people just prefer one style over it's, another, right? It's just visual. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's all it is. So, yeah. I mean, this is just a clean, simple look. I think that looks great. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, other people do different things, obviously I can't get a pure loom shot, but yeah, these are like solid loom. So oh, it's, God. it's awesome. That's, yeah. It's a loom. That's all right. Yeah. Also, take a look at the Zenith Pilot Type 20. It's similar, but the hands are a little funkier. Would you like this watch better if it didn't have a date? Yeah, this is another one. Actually, I saw this in London. Uh, shout out to Mohammed. I think he has actually this exact version or a similar one. And we got Cars and Chrono joining us on the panel. How's it going, man? What's hey, up, buddy? folks? It's been a while, man. <laughs> yeah, Good long time to speak. What up? Good to see you, man. Yeah, what's up, guys? Hey, what's up, cars? What's going on? Hey, good. We got watches yeah. 24 in the chat joining us. Thanks so much. The Lone Star saying, what's the watch of the year and why is it the Everest? Ooh, I think you're going to be disappointed with this list, Ted. <coughs> oh, <laughs> brother. <laughs> Look at that. How about this? Here's your list, right, Marco, I think, uh, right I think there. there's competition right there. I think that um... – I got your so, list. Yeah, right here's the problem, right? That's a, that's now, the a... problem is that I did keep it to only two watches per brand. And there's two other VCs that were released this year that I think personally, and I think you guys will probably agree, are just a little bit better than the Everest. <laughs> Lone Star's out of here. He's like, this motherfucker. You, you'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. Um, I'm not going to agree. Don't worry about that. I nah, think I'm kidding. Will. I'm kidding. I think you 100% will agree. Oh, no I'm a big got... fan of Cars and Chronos. So. Yeah, exactly. Just supporting the team. Now, the one thing I do dislike, and I will point it out, other than the dial, is um, actually there's no 24-hour indicator. Oh. That's the only problem with this watch. It's the one fault I have with this. So you can't tell when it's day or night, and that's a big problem. In my you don't opinion. just like look outside? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's also home time, right? What if you're in a time yeah, zone that's like 12 hours away? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the issue. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's really the one thing. Otherwise, I think this is it is a home run. This is really nice. Yeah. If yeah. there were just a tiny AM PM. Yeah. No, I, I like it. I love it. I want it. I just <laughs> yeah. I like your uh, added touch at the bottom there. The burgundy dial. <laughs> the dial. That's what it's all about. I just noticed that. I'm like, oh, jeez. It's not about the movement. Just the dial. No. <laughs> Be careful. Brian's going to steal your stick now. Ooh, yeah. cars. Yeah. I actually didn't put anything from Only Watch, actually. <clears throat> Nothing oh, from Only Watch. Excluded? No, he yeah. stole my yeah, stick with the would... presentation. Yeah. I, I, I was being sarcastic. Exactly, Brian. Exactly. <laughs> no. Only no this isn't a PowerPoint. Hard. This is a keynote. Yeah, the keynote. Uh, very different. That's right. It's That's a Google right. Slides, actually. It's a Google Slides. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's this great. Oh, these are good visuals. Okay, got it. No. <laughs> okay. What do we think, guys? Chapek Antarctic Ratchet Pound. That's number two. Nice. Hmm. This is number two, guys. 
this looks is like pretty, a, pretty. I impressive. assume they they made it look like a bicycle on purpose, right? <laughs> oh my god, it's true. Oh my god, you just ruined the watch for me. <laughs> this is why we do these shows, by the way. It's, it's the first thing I saw. It looked like a kid's bicycle. I'm sorry. Oh, hi, I'm okay. Tim. Welcome to Ari Ruins Watches. Thanks for logging on. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm, I'm here a week, folks. Try the fish. Yeah. <laughs> we got Big Sal chiming in with the five dollars. Thanks so much. By the way, Sal is the legend. I actually sold my first ever watch to Big Sal, so he gets the kudos. I'll never forget that. He says, "Good evening, gents. Love this topic. Shopping for a Christmas gift for yours truly. So need ideas. Okay, very nice, very nice. Yeah. So now this watch is officially ruined. Uh, if you don't see the bicycle, this is the head. Obviously, these are the two wheels, and then you got everything kind of in between. You're most welcome, folks. You're most welcome. Oh boy, man. Ari. Now I cannot unsee that. All anyway, right, moving on. <laughs> Paint this watch. <laughs> No, it's still really mechanically impressive. Obviously, we're talking. Yes, yeah, so so from. so. In all seriousness, here, I apologize for ruining it. But what put this on? <laughs> what put this on your list? Like, is there? A, is it the mechanical excellence? Is it the look? Yeah, I'm also not a big fan of skeletonized watches, but I think they do it like very classy. It's very legible as well. Uh, I like the the contrast of the blued hands and the kind yeah. of skeletonized out. Um, the movement is obviously really nicely finished. I, I like the fact like you get they, to see both column wheels as well. I like they only skeletonize the module rather than the whole movement. It makes it a right, real correct. interesting way to do it. Mm -hmm. I agree. The only thing I wish also is people would start using more peripheral rotors like VC does. I think right. that would look awesome on a piece like this. So, but I'll, not I'll, tell you, do, I'll tell you what I like. I really love the blue. That little hint of blue throughout I think is really, really cool in that watch. Yeah, yeah it's really nice. Love that. But yeah, it's, I mean, we're talking $50,000, right? So <laughs> I like it, but I don't like it that much. Oh, no. No. Yeah. And 15.3 millimeter stick obviously does get up there. Um, I think it's actually a base 7753 Valjoux movement, hmm. uh, but that they modify heavily with uh, Mojon. Yeah, Mr. Cassio, you'll probably know this. Jean Francois Mojon is chronoed, right? If I'm not mistaken. I don't think so. I, let, let me find out. Yeah, I forget who it is. It's um, Chronex, Chronode. I can't remember anymore. But yeah, it, super. Jean-François Mojon is, is excellent, obviously. And um, yeah, overall, love, love this. Love this piece. Except for the fact that now it's been ruined <laughs> by Ari. And we got Michael Sugar chiming in with the $20 Super Chat saying, heading to get my son's sleep. Much love all. We'll watch the rerun. Really appreciate you stopping by. Thanks so much for the super chat. Very Thanks. kind and generous. Thanks, Michael. Anyway. I'm sorry. I got to do yeah. this. Let me see if this works. Hey, guys. and Welcome back to another episode of Ari Ruins Watches. <laughs> <laughs> better Rico. Be better. <coughs> like, oh, like shit. Okay, yeah. Watches part. <laughs> That's close. Ruins. That's close. I, think, I think you should talk about why watches. Rolex is overhyped and you should sell it all. That's yes, right. That's it. <laughs> I should that's sell it. all my Rolex that right. I just bought. Yes. Yes. So, Marco, what do you think about? So, it looks. I'm looking at the spec sheet here that you did on the PowerPoint here. Beautiful, 15.3 mil on the thickness yeah. of the watch. Interchangeable straps, which is very nice. Yeah. Um, you think it the price at 50k? <laughs> it's a is little hard, but it's a split second chrono, right? right? Okay. I mean, it sounds right. about right. 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 What right. it would be, Marco was. Cards. What do you think about this piece? Yeah, I'm just not a fan of open work, so anything with open work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Outside of the bicycle. I, and, uh, I, I was looking at that. <laughs> the Royal Oak open work literally before I jumped on the show. But you know what? I think I'm getting to like salmon more and more. Salmon we got a couple salmon. We got a couple salmon dials that'll show up. Uh, we got Eric King Ben saying good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon to you, Eric King. I hope all is well. And uh, hope you enjoy the show. Okay, so let's move on because this watch was officially ruined, and I hate it. <laughs> uh, so I didn't, I didn't really do many specs on this because I'm sad that I lost out on the, on these next two. Um, they're both by Habring. So this one in particular is a salmon dial, but the middle dial is actually made by J. N. Shapiro, who's an American watchmaker out in California, uh, very well known for his guilloche work, obviously. Um, I just think this is gorgeous. Actually, I know somebody who got this. Shout out to Paul if you're watching. Uh, you're a lucky man. And the other one is this one right here, which was a chronograph salmon dial. I think it's 33 piece limited edition for monochrome watches. Again, it's super nice, but I'm, I'm sad I missed out on both of these. So yeah, we're going to move on swiftly from both of these. But yeah, these are awesome. 
So are they? When you say miss value, are, you, are, are you looking to acquire them? Or maybe, maybe. Really? Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, oh God, here we go. No, so, <laughs> so do you admire them? So I'm going to ask this: do you, do you admire them just because of the look, or is there something special in the movement? What? Uh, yeah, there's a couple of reasons. So I do like, um, I like I like salmon first of all. Obviously, the movement is the movement. Um, in terms of like design, I will be honest. I think that there are better designs out there. I don't like the um, the large Roman numerals in this, but I do prefer like this look right here is very classical, which is right on my alley. Right, it's very much a traditional looking chronograph, very old style. Um, yeah, just I love this. Good. I don't know what it is. Hey, can't Marco, explain it. Just yeah, Marco. I have a question. Can you go back sure. to the previous photo? Sure, sure, sure. So, so the middle of the dial, the mm -hmm. the stamping is that. Do people? Is there anybody that does that by hand, or is that just is that yes. cl clearly machined? Yeah. So it's not what's it called? It's not a stamped. It's actually done using a three hundred year old machine. It's like a wow called a roselate, right? And basically, what they do, it's actually a pretty laborious that's process. That's actually you have to be very a, skilled at it. That's actually called a straight engine. If you see it, if it's okay. a like a uh, rope, like if it's a, a round pattern to it, it's a it's a rose engine. If you see it straight pattern like that, that's a straight engine. <laughs> Sorry, I just want to. I just I do want to pull this up because I thought it was funny. I just read it. Just <laughs> saying, is say what is wrong with you guys talking about watches when you could be gossiping and causing drama? <laughs> hey man, I appreciate that. Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Uh, but yeah, I like these overall. But let's move on because. My heart hurts that I didn't get them. This Could is the next one. Like 40 watches. Yeah. This is the first of BC. The first yeah. of BC. I mean, it's got to make the list. Oh, yeah. There's no way it can't make this list. Yeah. I like in cars, let's be honest, right? I love the Everest. I'm sure you do as well. But between the two pieces, which one is more special? I think you'd agree this one, right? No. Between what? <laughs> between this or the Everest? Yeah, the overseas Everest. Oh, uh, yeah. I would take the 1921. Uh, yeah, it's just heartbeat. like it's more special, right? It's just more special, in my opinion. This is just my personal opinion. Um, yeah, I, I think this is gorgeous. So what, what is there to say? Again, on one, like, it's, and these are one of those pieces where you, when you just you got to see it in person with the the beaded dial and uh, the sandblasted dial and the, the way those applied markers right. when you got the right angle. <clears throat> and it's got that platinum stitching also, which is really cool. Oh, shit, I just revealed the next one. Uh, it's got the platinum stitching, which is super nice. You got those close-ups actually on on Instagram, which are awesome to see. And uh, this has the caliber forty-four hundred, which is one of my favorite calibers from Vacheron because Kerry reviewed it right a couple of years ago. Car you ever seen his review of the of the movement? No, I haven't. You I should haven't read up that. on it. Actually, he reviewed it, and he he had like very glowing things to say. He said it's super well designed um you know in 100 years from now it'll still be really easy to service it's a single barrel and it has 65 hour power reserve which is i mean pretty impressive you don't really see single barrel movements with that long power reserve and obviously the finish on this is is excellent right geneva seal and the the design is it's an icon right it's iconic it's iconic it is i like beautiful, it beautiful beautiful marco do you around. know the inspiration behind this watch at all or yeah, so there's three different stories. Yeah. Um, yeah, like that's the thing, right? So the one that Bash or that Bashron, I uh, Christian Salmani actually did a an interview with um, Teddy. Geez. No, no, it wasn't Teddy. Balzari, it was, um, right? It was Teddy Balzari, wasn't it? No, but it was with somebody else this year actually covering the new 1921s, the white golds. Uh, this year's this. It's the it's the bald guy, the bald Swiss guy. What's his goddamn name? Watch advisor. That's the one. Mm -hmm. Watch advisor. So he actually confirmed the preacher story. So this was a preacher's watch where, you know, for example, when he would give his sermon, his hands would be here. Hold on. Let me actually mm -hmm. just reenact. His hands would actually be on the like the what's it called? The, the, the desk. Yeah, yeah the podium, podium whatever it is. Or podium. And, and his wrist would kind of be turned <clears throat> so he can the read the watch. Right. He can read the watch at a glance. Right. So that's oh. the official story. Um, but there's also the driver's watches, the stories of the 20s, right? So you can imagine the steering wheels were right, really Right, so big, yeah. Right, exactly. 
That's, oh, a that's another one. Screw the whole preacher story. That's BS. <laughs> it's cars. It's yeah. cars, right? There's what the driver swatch. What and is Vacheron's also... story? What is Vacheron's story? Like their kind of official statement on the piece. Well, Salamani. Yeah. Yeah. Salamani is the Vacheron. Yeah, Salamani is the style and heritage director of Vacheron, and he said it's it's the preacher's watch. Yeah. But I'm with cars. I think the driver's watch is much cooler, much more. There's a third one, right? Mark, the, there's a the third horseback. One. There's a yeah, it's the that's horseback right. riders. Yeah, that's yeah, the third oh, one. That, I never heard that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, when ladies, the they got to sit to the side, and the way they're sitting askance, they got to look at their watch. And... Oh. That's like, yeah. that's like such a Vacheron thing. They can always yeah. one up any <clears> watch company because they're so old. Like, Rolex would be like, we've got all these famous people that wear Rolex. And then it's like, <laughs> yeah, well, Napoleon wore a Vacheron. So good luck with that. <laughs> it's like you always one up so yeah this is my next one i mean this had to make the list obviously mm -hmm. you guys gorgeous. know my love for vc and this is this is just it's incredible there's nothing else to say um this is my next one a little it's a off show the par, isn't it <laughs> it's a show par that's right <laughs> i bet you the next one's a show par <laughs> <laughs> it's actually they released this this year it's the luc calité fleurier jubilee i really like this because the dial I like mm -hmm. that sector style dial, the blue outer ring. It's nice. And Very that kind of pole router. Yeah, I'm I guess kidding. you could say that. But I like the hands as well. This almost syringe style. It, it might not be to everybody's taste, but I think this is. This is I love the um our the arm markers, the the kind of the the arrowheads. Those are awesome. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I like them so much that I feel like the three six nine would be better if they looked similar to the right. two, the two, right. the one two. Or, yeah, I don't know. I think they'd be better triangular. It almost looks a little off mm. when I see it now. Mm. Look, I didn't call it a bicycle. Altar. Okay, come that's on. the one. Mike, <laughs> Mike got me. He said the altar. There you go. It's the altar. Yes. Altar. Yes. <laughs> uh, we got Reg chiming in with the five dollars. Thanks so much, man. You don't have to do that. Mm. Saying sorry for ruining watches. Hey, it's all. So Ari, what's your take on this one? What are we looking at? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a nice watch. Looks like a nice watch. I'm not touching this. Actually, oh, boy. it looks good. It looks good. So yeah. I like as well the Ooh, lugs. Nice. You'll see the lugs here. I like these kind of you know mm -hmm. fancy style lugs. Mini um, now this this movement is very special. So it's based on loosely, obviously, the 1.96 calibers that kind of restarted show part. I want to say mm. in the late 90s. Um, it's a little less you know desired because obviously it doesn't have the geneva seal but one thing that's interesting if you see at the bottom right here you see this like little symbol mm -hmm. that's actually the calité fleurier stamp that um uh, chopard and michel parmigiani both came up with oh, wow. and that yeah they, they actually made their own kind of seal if you will so which is okay. eh. so let me ask a question this may be an obvious one sure. now, what does it take to get the geneva seal what do i have to do we could do a whole stream on that, actually. It's a very cool. elaborate answer, but it's all basically it has to meet certain criteria from a mm. finishing standpoint. And I think also you'll probably know this cars, right? From an accuracy standpoint, there has to be like a little it has to be accurate and it has to be well decorated, right? And yeah. for the most part and also assembly. So the final yeah. assembly of all yeah. the things have to be done in engineering. Also, right. they can't use certain parts. They have to like certain pieces have to be made of a certain material like there's like what is it wire hair springs they can't use or there's just a bunch of things they can't do and the accuracy is like cost it's not like superlative chronometer or anything like yeah. or metas but it's it has more to do with how it's built in decoration yeah the finishing on the luc stuff is amazing it's awesome yeah so the 1.96 became very famous because philip dufour kind of gave his stamp of approval and then after that you know everybody started clamoring for these watches so this is the like an offshoot version and it's a double barrel micro rotor uh movement i think it's 65 here i have the tech sheet 65 hour power reserve and look at that dial it's all about mm. that dial it's nice oh my god <laughs> We're gonna kill that joke today. By the way, that that thing's <clears throat> yeah. We got just saying saying. Did Marco buy another watch? I did not. No, no new watches, not yet. Uh, we got Ali Reza with a twenty five dollars and fifty five cents. Appreciate that, Mark. Uh, my man, appreciate that. Saying out and about with an old friend, running guns and saying goes to see Oak and C two as well. Have a good show, gentlemen. And Marco, appreciate that, man. Thanks for stopping oh, by. Ali, where are you yeah. running guns, man? <laughs> running gun. 
Is he running gunning or is he actually a gunner running guns to yeah. Cuba? Running guns and, uh, and high-value Seikos. Right. <laughs> He's cornering the market on both. <laughs> He's out there. He's running and gunning, as we say. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate the super chat, Ali. Hope you're well. And obviously, hope you enjoy the night. We got Beyond Time with the $2 saying we need more upvotes. Yes, I would appreciate you guys liking the stream. Uh, we got just saying saying he upvoted. Appreciate that. Turtle Knight saying they hand the seals out in China for mm -hmm. a reasonable price. No, they don't. No, they don't. <laughs> but that's good. That is good. I, I got confused for a second. I, just on context, I was thinking like real seals. And I'm like, okay, that's... That's an interesting image, yes. but oh, you're an talking an actual about. seal, yeah. an actual seal. <laughs> yes, they seal hand you a seal when your watch is yeah. certified. Yeah. So hmm. now it comes to the problems with these watches. First of all, it's sixteen thousand dollars, sixteen thousand, which I think is for a steel watch is a little. I mean, that's a little rich in my opinion. Hmm. And then, although I will say it is cost certified, which is you know props to them. And again, it has the Calute Fleurier seal. Uh, the thickness is good, 8.9 mil, but it's a limited edition of 25, so, so yeah, we're not ba getting much. Basically, and I think yeah. here you're getting quality finishing that you're going to get. It's better than what you're going to find in that Moser. Yeah, 100%. There's a lot more hand finishing, um, but it's not to the standard of 1.96, right? No. no, Because no. they're 1.96, they all send to the Geneva seal. Yeah, that's kind of the, that's how you know they change. as fat, but... <clears throat> right. But it's still very well finished, yeah. No question. We got Winks and Watches with the five dollars saying, "Gents, thoughts on LU Showport flying?" Let me pull that up one second. Amazing tourbillon. I I don't even remember what this watch is. I gotta Google it. I really do. Oh yeah, this is awesome. I've seen this before actually. Uh, let me get this. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this is really nice. Very nice. This is this is stop seconds tourbillon as well. Um I think this is the officer is, case, right? This will be the officer case. This is um really and nice. it'll have That's so really this is the nice. 1.96 movement, right? Or it's the base is the 1.96. And you get that really nice Kyoshi out of it. Oh What's the God. price on that? It's expensive. This will be yeah. expensive. <laughs> like it's beautiful. Like it's ridiculous. Yeah. More than sixteen thousand. Yeah, I don't this like is... gold, but I would buy this watch. In a yeah, second. I'm not a gold guy either, but I would buy this. Eighty thousand dollars. It's eighty grand. I was or seventy thousand. Yeah, I can get it. Hold on yeah. one second. I'll tell you. Beyond times, like yeah, that's that's fine. That's <laughs> I, I got a lot of. I got seven hundred subscribers. Yeah, that's fine. And that's yeah, almost good. like a I got almost eight hundred. That's right, you do. <laughs> it's awesome. It's a hundred and nine thousand euros. Ooh, oh, that's a that's rich. That is rich. That's a beautiful watch. You almost have the money, Marco. You're close. <laughs> well, I mean, you got 70k last six months. Yeah, <laughs> it was just given to you. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 let's see. I love the hands. I, oh, I he's talking about the blue. One. I oh, love the hands, and I love the twelve. <laughs> that honeycomb oh, dial. Every Ooh, little yeah. blue is nice. Oh, yeah, yes. I like yeah, this a lot. This looks a lot nicer to my eye. <clears throat> I, I prefer the other. Is that one, steel? To be honest, but this is really nice. Steel okay. or white yeah. gold? Uh, probably platinum. So we buy them. Yeah, ah, that's nice. But I prefer personally, actually, they released this this year as well. Um, but it's not on the list. Is this one right here? This is my favorite out of all mm. of them. That's the one they did with uh, the like Rake Waco, or Revolution. Right? Yeah, I think it's the Rake or Revolution. I can't remember. It's one or the yeah, other. Yeah, it's all because of the dial. <laughs> but the yeah, hands. this is the hands. Uh, yeah. So these dials, correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Cassio, but they're made by Metalum, right? Which is the same yeah, dial Kiyoshi. manufacturer. Yeah, it's the same dial yeah, manufacturer. Mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead. It's Carrie's uh, shop that he built, that he put together for making dials. Like, Chapek uses them. Mm -hmm. Philip Dufour. That's really yeah. cool. Yeah. Very nice. And, so here's and a question. Like the, well, I like the... Go ahead. 70 K yes. Canadian, right? Sorry. So, what would you buy? Would you buy this over other pieces at the, this price point for seventy no. k Canadian? I would buy some, a lot of other things because tourbillons I, are a useless complication. I, I would not get over this. They're just nice. They're like fancy complications yeah. that do absolutely nothing. But man, that that <laughs> are they difficult those... to maintain tourbillons. Uh, they're expensive to service. Yeah, but they can yeah. be serviced. They can. Be the, serviced. Yeah, they definitely yeah. can be serviced. Yeah. yeah. 
everything can be done for I, I mean like can it be serviced <laughs> by mortals and not by the one swiss watchmaker on the mountain in uh, uh, you'll probably have to send this to geneva yeah, or to okay. switzerland yeah. yeah you'll definitely have to send this to switzerland right we got just saying chiming saying darn you marco these watches are going to make me lose sleep <laughs> <laughs> i agree i agree logan hall saying evening gents thanks so much mj king seventy thousand canadian absolutely <laughs> we got mike saying interesting dial yeah I mean, I think you can get a remontoir, which is actually helping timekeeping rather than right. something that used to. Um, yeah, you can get a lot of stuff for that 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 money, right? How much is a Gronfeld remontoir? Probably about the same amount, right? If you can get one, because they just close their books. But yeah, another cool, interesting. One. I I like this. I really like this. The dial. It's all about the. Dial. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> you gonna bury that thing. We got Perth Ferrante <laughs> over here. Here we go. This is this is another. Oh my god, this is another awesome release this year by Paddock. I'm not a huge Paddock Philippe fan personally. I I'm, I much prefer Vacheron, uh, but this is there's no denying this is spectacular. And this yeah, has my favorite. Couple days ago, actually, at the Pijorn event, some guy was rocking this. Yeah, that blue oh, yeah. is is really yeah, sick. It's like a velvety. Really... It's a velvet blue, almost like, uh, mm. yeah, I don't know. it's like almost like velvet when you look at it in the light. Oh, man. I want to see one of this, and I want to see the 5172, and I want to see which is their, their the blue dial chronograph. And I love the date. The date's awesome. The set, like how it's lined up. Yeah, it's inline perpetual, that. right? <clears throat> it's the first so ever awesome. wristwatch in inline perpetual because Paddock is, has, had done this before. Well, sorry, so what cool. is the so okay? You got Saturday, 18th of March. Yep, mm -hmm. you've got a circle on the left and a circle on the right. What's the three? Okay, so the three is the leap year, okay, leap year indicator because it's a perpetual calendar. And if I'm not mistaken, Four. the right, the left one is actually the um danger zone, right? So it tells you when you're in the danger zone, or it's a day night indicator, so it okay. kind of tells you, you know, don't set your watch during this time, otherwise, you're going to break it. But yeah, this is I love this case as well, Cars. This is like the 5235 case. Yeah, I got a close up of that dial. God, that thing's so nice. Oh my god, look at that. And the movement is spectacular. Mm. This is beautiful. Those bridges. Yeah. Very nice. Oh man. Yeah, the finger like, style yeah, bridges. I, that's so what's the price on this? 45 we'll bucks. It is hundred and thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. Only. But it's, they're really hard to get. These are weightless pieces, actually. There's a wait list for these. Like, yeah, you can actually yeah, get it. And I guess you got to have a purchase yeah. history for you to even have a shot, probably. Um, no, I, I think you'll probably get them in a couple of years, like a reasonable amount of time. But yeah, they're they're not easy to make, right? I'm sure they don't have like a ton of watchmakers who could work on a piece like this. They're fairly complicated, right? Yeah. Very nice. But yeah, this so, is you know, oh. if a sub takes a whole year to make. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That that's is good. That is good. One. That's a good. Oh one. man. <laughs> uh just saying saying tim has 47 people watching him drink no worries hope he's doing well we got uh, uh, hold on. so i put an emoji in the chat in the in the youtube <laughs> chat i can't unsee it turtle Knight says last i heard two hundred forty thousand maple syrup dollars that's right <laughs> <laughs> eric king ben says there seems to be three live streams on hey no worries that's all, all good. good we're just hanging out right and we're not stealing anyone's. That's movement. what I see. What I see. We're this doing our movement. thing. We're doing our thing. <laughs> Just like oh, big eyes. oh, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, see yeah. that. I see that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. But it's pretty cool to see this. It's awesome. it's awesome. No, no, no. Yeah. They're not. It's cool. Yeah, I wanted to put this shot in, but yeah, I think this is this is gorgeous. amazing. It's gorgeous. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. But as we know, I'm not a huge Paddock fan, so I had to blow this completely out of the water. But my favorite brand and my next release, which is. <laughs> Come on, this had to be the second oh, one, the second yeah. BC. There's no way the Everest is nicer than this. I'm sorry, guys. I love this it. Is, I'll yeah, take this 12. Is out of this world. That, I think that's how many I'll they take made. Take 38 actually. of them. I'll take 38. <laughs> that's right. No, you'll accidentally take 38. I, I love this. Yeah, this is incredible. So it's not just a split second uh, mono pusher chronograph, but it's also oh, got God. that peripheral oh, rotor we were God. talking about. Yeah, this is just this is yeah, this is on another level. <laughs> this is now, flexing. Now they're just this showing off. Now they're just flexing. showing Yeah, this is basically yeah, them showing off. 
Now, Cars, I know you were clamoring to get this piece or you wanted to get this piece and unfortunately you didn't, right? Uh, no, I wasn't really clamoring. I mean, by the time it, I didn't even get offered one, so just for the oh, record, shit. right? Never mind. Yeah, Never mind. I, even, I even have because at the time they had the 1921. I was just happy to grab that. Yeah, I think these yeah, were man. all spoken for. That's yeah, incredible. I think they only made 12 or 15. Yeah, 15 piece. <laughs> I put keep dreaming. It looks like Jeez. it looks like the back <laughs> of a Speedmaster on steroids. Yeah. But go yeah. back a second. Look at that column wheel with the Vacheron cross in the middle. Well, they got two, right? There's two actually. There's the one up here. Yep. Yeah, because it's a one. split second. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Which <sighs> I think yeah, right. they are flexing so hard. The way yeah. they do tourbillons too, where they like put the tourbillon with the cross in it, and you're just like, that's not even necessary, and you did it. Like it's incredible. Yeah. No question. This is awesome. So yeah, this had to be. I mean, this had to be my second one from VC. And the style is probably the same as, as the 1921 cars. Like, that dial must be outrageous. Yeah, it's that, yeah, blasted dial. Like, very grainy, right? It kind of has that silvery grain to it. Mm -hmm. Now, Keep let me ask you, peasants. compared to the 1921 in rose gold, right? Um, like, how does that compare, the platinum versus the rose gold version? Because the, the rose gold has a very, like, sandblasted type finish as well. Right? Yeah, it's... It Similar, but I would. Uh, I mean, the way you simply put it is that the rose gold is just a warmer piece. It just feels warm. These platine, these historic excellence platines, are very almost cold, austere, right? It's a very chilly vibe to it. Whereas, yeah, you know, when you got the rose gold on a brown leather strap, sometimes the red for the ladies, uh, they're very warm. Interesting. Okay, that's interesting. But yeah, I had to put. I had to put this one in uh, as my second VC. Uh, 42 and a half millimeters, which I mean, I understand they probably need space for the <laughs> movement price, 288,000, uh, 48 hour power reserve, which is nice. And then I put 15 piece limited edition. So keep dreaming peasants, us, us mere mortals forget like about even, it. Yeah. It's like cars and chrono is among the pre peasants. That's when, you know, we're screwed. Which <laughs> <laughs> even cars and chrono is like, I got nothing. This was a, I'll call you piece and nobody got the call. Right. That's nobody right. got the it's like Waco and Ben Klein always, got the call. I always wonder when there is like 10 pieces of this, who gets the call? Like who that's, actually gets that's the a call? Good, so it'll be the heavy hitter clients. And a lot of the times those well-connected in the media will get these pieces, like especially this extremely sought after limited editions. Right. Um, Cause if you're in the media, you know what I mean? Like you, the brands want to stay in your good graces. Let's oh, be of honest. Course. Of there, course. There is that degree of, you know, kind of scratch your back kind of thing. Yeah. I scratch your back. You scratch mine. Right. Yeah, yeah. I like, I mean, it's normal. What are you going to do? I, I wonder what goes into the process of like when a company does this and they think, all right, how many pieces are we actually going to produce? Like, all right, let's make it nine or let's just make it six. Or I wonder how they come up with the germ to determine that number. Yeah. I think there was a deliberate <clears throat> process how they chose 15. I don't remember what it is actually. Um, I probably should know this considering I added this to the list, but yeah, there's usually there's, it's probably some anniversary, like 15 year anniversary or mm. something. Usually it's pretty deliberate when they pick I was going to say, pick, pull up big Sal's chat. That was kind of funny. Yeah. Big Sal says wife wants to cuddle, but she's getting the cold <laughs> shoulder while this panel is streaming priorities. Fellas. I appreciate that. Where well, they say that. Saturdays are for the boys. <laughs> right. It is still Friday, but Hey, Oh no. Yeah, you're right. Yes, 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 yes. Friday. Sorry. Mike saying that splitty is giving us the piece sign that's right i like it <laughs> exactly uh -huh. oh this is really nice and 10.7 millimeters thick i mean i don't think it's that incredible no, yeah i just right. saying this thing right. is so big i don't think it would wear big at all 42 and a half no. maybe uh -huh. case wise it would wear awesome. big. but yeah, yeah no, the thickness is 10.7 that's not that's bad nothing. at all that's not that's bad nothing. at all omar says wouldn't it be celebrities who get the call i mean it depends what we're talking celebrities yeah, yeah. right yeah. Like well, LeBron so James I, isn't cl clamoring for this piece. Let's be honest. No. Well, and like no, I think brands like are one, in LA that got this. They're not celebrities. They're just collectors. No, exactly. Well, because like <clears throat> they're not trying to market it, right? Like if they're made fifteen of them, they don't need to market it. It's like the yeah. whole thing with watches is like if you make if you make like a run of watches, and they're you know <laughs> as many as they can make, then they give them to celebrities because then people see LeBron James wearing an RM, you know. And like yeah, but that's also – but you know, I, I posed this question to Alexander Schmidt, the president, and he told me that's not their ethos. They don't advertise. They don't give a fight about the celebrities rocking this, right? That goes <laughs> completely against the grain of what they're trying to right. accomplish right. with the brand, right? Now, Carl, you'll, you'll, you'll probably advertise with Vacheron, at least in mainstream media or any sort of – Nah, um, they don't need to. 
And, and Carlos, let me ask you, because you'll probably know this, on a piece like this, right, it's so limited 15 pieces, they're probably already pre-sold, right? By, like they'll probably call clients before they're even shipped out or even they announced that this limited, I mean, I can only speak to ones I've been involved in. Every single one, uh, they, they call you maybe a month, two months in advance, and they ask if you want it. So be, by the time a PR announcement comes out, they've all been spoke for, at least for the limited runs. Okay. Yeah, that's what I feel, especially for a piece like this, because it, it would be expensive for them to like start, you know what I mean, making pieces like this if they wouldn't be spoken for. Obviously, they will. But right. yeah, it makes sense that they pre-sell them. So yeah, that paddock was a shitter compared to this. Get that out of here. The VC is just, the oh, VC geez. is king. The VC is king. That's it. <laughs> Cameron Weiss. Cameron Weiss says, you know, Vacheron is just on another level because he used I, to work there. I tend to agree. Yeah, he, t- he used to work there. All right, let's move on. What's the next watch? It's this. A little off the bean path, but I think this is so mm. this is so gorgeous. It's it just crashed it's, in one direction. It's, it's just a classical dress watch from Cartier. To me, this is simple, refined elegance. It's what Cartier does best. The tanks in tray, their hundredth anniversary. Um actually I think it was from 1919, but they did like some special thing um, for 1921 to commemorate 1921. And uh yeah, I think I think this is just beautiful. I think it's really. I like the case and like the, the contouring of the case. Oh yeah, the profile is insane. Really awesome. Yeah, that's, that's an really awesome cool. shot of it. Yeah, this is this is. I mean, it's a gorgeous piece. Yeah, it's breathtaking right there. I mean, and, I, mean I, and, I love the I love the crown. I just that, that whole style. Everything. Yeah, even cool. the profile. Look at the way it wears wow, on the really wrist. Really nice. And that eggshell type <laughs> dial. I think this is just yeah. this is spectacular. Yeah, the bullet cabochon is awesome. Yeah. Tim Mosser would have a field day describing how this fits on the wrist. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Lone Star. We're, we're no, I, 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 this got at any wrist up to forty meters. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not doing. No. I, I I love that piece. It's yeah, it's nice. I wanted to you know give something a little different, a little variety. You know, I think this is spectacular. Listen, I, I'm not going to get every watch release that I like from 2021. I just wanted to give some highlights, and I think this deserved a shout out. I don't like yeah, the fact that piece. it's 150 piece limited edition. I wish they would just make this you know in serial production. Like I hate the fact brands will make such limited quantities for their best watches and keep it so exclusive. Sometimes it's nice to you know open the taps for us regular guys, mm. but hey. What do I know? And yeah, so this is. They would just make a, a serial production uh, 50 fathoms <clears throat> that was 40 millimeters or less. That would be so nice. But they're all limited. We'll get to the 50 fathoms actually in a little bit. Cool. <laughs> Funny you say that. Funny you say that. Uh, we'll have that conversation. We got Omar chiming in saying, We're talking about limited edition pieces, and I've been waiting a month for a Seamaster. What am I doing here? <laughs> How are you waiting a month for a Seamaster? Whoa. Yeah. Are we talking a Seamaster professional, Omar? A month is a, a little outrageous at the rate that Omega churns watches at. Yeah, there should be <laughs> yeah, that's... one of 75 different kinds of C, you know, Seamasters yeah. you can get at this uh, at this Whoa. point. So well, it's like a bond, I guess. Huh. Maybe the bond. Yeah, actually, you know what? You made a good point. Could be the bond. Watch. Maybe he's got the blue dial heritage one coming. Oh, that's possible. But yeah, I thought this 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 watch deserved a shout Marco, out. Marco, is that a closed back or does it have an open back? Yeah, it's a it's closed, closed back. Yeah, yeah, because it it won't be a movement that fits the case. Right, right, right. Does right. Cartier do open backs? Not typically. It's very atypical for them to do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hit it on the nose with Omar. Oh shit! But it's the blue. Oh yes, the the lollipop second hand. Actually, I know that because he told me. I should. That's like this. the that's, that's like the coolest one. one. Can yeah. We- can we bring it up or is it going to ruin your mojo? No, no, no. I'll His mojo is already ruined. No. Yeah. I think. For the legend Omar, who sent me all those fragrances, I have to. I, Come I, on. Ever since he ruined the bicycle watch. <laughs> it's gone. No, this I is love the watch that. I was making fun of the class of, you know, but the black version, not the white. <laughs> That's <laughs> not the right. Person. Yeah. Well, don't worry. He's out running guns and Seikos, so you can yeah. make fun of the class all you want. <laughs> That's right. I remember that. This so this uh, is the way the Seamaster should go. Enough with the weird shit yeah. they do now and do this. You know what? I get more like people this. to buy this and they'll make more of these. But yeah, this is the this is where it's at. Great choice, Omar. <clears throat> way to piss yeah, off Omar nice uh, raincoat there. Yeah, it's, it's sitting, vintage vibe it's sitting in my it. case. Yeah, this is vintage, cool. vintage vibe too. It's awesome. Yeah. Great. Dude, I have to get this Great is the, the smart, the funniest <clears throat> name. Telephone tough guy. Just yeah. stopped <laughs> in to say hello. 
<laughs> Hello, Talisman. It is the best name. YouTube it really YouTube. describes everybody. Uh, and I love in how his, chat. His, his, uh, <laughs> his avatar is like a guy in a phone booth talking. Oh, yeah. It's Robert De Niro. <laughs> Pull that back up again, Marco. Jimmy Conway. <laughs> Look at it. Yeah, it's Jimmy Conway. <laughs> That's great. He's gone, and it, it can't do is, nothing about it. That's so it, good. It, it is yep, really he's good. gone. There's nothing you can do about it. But actually, this was released this year as well, right? So this is another great release yeah. from this year. I love this. I love awesome. this. I guess I probably moved the lollipop such that like the circle was about maybe like ten percent further down the yeah yeah the hand, so it looked like a regular hand. But that's just me. It's What's the price cool. on this? That is a good question. Let me tell you. Hold on. Sure. Eight dollars, eight thousand. Yeah, I wish. Was yeah, and to me, a dress diver fills so many niches. It's on the bracelet, sixty-four fifty Swiss francs. So maybe eight thousand US. It's mm. a bit high. Yeah, yeah as I say, do you feel like it's it's an eight thousand dollar watch? No. no, but if like five, but, yes. But if they're trying to go directly at the sub, that's the way to do it. Not with yeah. what they're doing with the diver three hundred M with the wave dial and all that stuff. Mm. Mm. But yeah, okay. All right. Oh, all right. Let's Lord. let's kill off all Rolex fanboys. I like this watch, guys. Awesome. All the Rolex fanboys are crying right now. I'm sorry, but I do like this, the Chrono Master Sport. I think it's gorgeous. I, I that, yeah. Listen, I think it's I design think it's aside. It's a looking watch. Yeah, I yeah. Think it's, a, it's a practical <clears throat> looking watch. I agree. It's got a date. I like the tri-colored sub dials. You know that are reminiscent of the El Primero. I mean, I did a whole video on this about how I don't think it's copying the Daytona. I still stand by that because it doesn't have crown guards. Mm. It has pump pushers. Like the the indices are completely different. The color of the, the sub dials are completely different. There's a date, no date on the Daytona. I mean, what are we talking? We're talking yeah, I don't think it looks a bracelet, a bracelet clasp, and we're talking a ceramic bezel. Like what? It's not even like a panda. Yeah, it just, yeah. I don't. Yeah, it's not even close. That black one, honestly, the way they do that date, I hate dates at 430. And yet that looks amazing because they color matched it perfectly. Yeah. Yeah, they I blended it nicely. And you can actually read the time wrist, on though. the black one. Isn't it weird? Yeah. Mm, I love, I love it. But yeah, sorry to the Rolex fanboys, but I do like this. Sorry, I can't help it. I, I do like this piece. I think it's I, I, really nice. So why do the so let me ask you this? I I never understood why the Rolex fanboys get pissed with this. Like this is, it's a different watch. I mean, I I mean, come history. on, let's be honest. There's definitely a there's a similarity in design and style to the Daytona. Sure. Um, is it like fully original? I mean, there's history. You know, Zenith claims that they have a watch. There's, you can go back, actually. The Zenith DeLuca is yes. a ripoff of the Daytona. It's literally sure. a straight ripoff of the Daytona. Sure. Um, so they've done this type of stuff before. But yeah. I, I just I don't see it. I, I really don't see it. And I mean, the Daytona is based on the Zenith El Primero movement. So they, they have a reason to kind of do a little bit of copying to begin with, at least back in the day. I think this <laughs> is different enough and is not copying. It's, you agree. can't. Rolex does not own the patent to the chronograph. I'm sorry, it does not. Yeah, I mean, this is sort of what I was getting at. That I, I, I don't understand all the hand wringing that goes on around this. Like, it's it's a different enough watch. Like, everyone needs to yeah. get over it. And yeah, but can I, can I just say, guys, I actually had the white dial one, and I returned it after a week because I do have the white panda Daytona. I never reached for the Zenith. They are very similar when you can handle both of them. The oh, really? They are. There's no question. They yeah. definitely are They're similar. Super, right? Very similar. And it was just duplicative from my standpoint. And by the way, I think the Zenith movements are amazing. I mean, these uh, they're just yeah, yeah on steroids. Yeah. When if you look at it from your collection standpoint, I, I rarely reached for the. the that makes Zenith. sense. All right, that makes sense. That's fair. No, I think I think it's kind of this thing where we had a problem where Rolex fanboys were like, "You should be ashamed to own this because it's yeah, a ripoff of the Daytona," and that's ridiculous. Yeah. Like, like if you yeah. have both, you probably <laughs> like if you have a Daytona, you probably don't need a Speedmaster either, right? Like, they make a white dial Speedmaster. Oh, that looks man, very well, that's not poison. Those, those, that's <laughs> you talking about like the Moonwatch? No, I mean, that's very no, different. no. That, one a, of the that's a history 40, thing. Yeah, no, one yeah. of the forty special edition Speedmasters is white, and you know, like if you had a white dial Speedmaster, you don't need it. Like the Daytona yeah. and the yeah. white 100%. dial Speedmaster 100%. don't need to coexist in your collection yeah. either. Yeah. 
first omega in space is yep. different yeah oh for sure yeah and this is a fair argument also by alex saying i would go for a3 at four or a3 at six whenever i see a corona master sport i'll think about a daytona see that's fair you know what that's a fair criticism of it but i still think it's different enough and it's distinct enough well, that it's its own thing and also there's another point too like what about being able to get one at retail ish prices See, look at this. Ad is saying, I'm a Rolex fanboy. You don't have to say sorry. I don't think it's that close in design. There we go. I don't think it is either. Yeah. And it's a 42 mil case yeah. or 41 mil case, okay. but it actually wears short lug to lug, similar to the Daytona. Yeah. Is this Good available? Thickness. Is this available at retail? It, you'll have to wait, yeah. but yes, it should be. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, it's, it's entirely possible without it's having like a to buy tutor. six pieces no. of shitty jewelry at your 100%. AD. <laughs> right. And those trademark tricolor sub dials are so wonderfully zenith. Yeah. yeah. By the way, guys, can we do a quick, sorry to interrupt, because <clears throat> we didn't do a quick wristwatch check with the updated panel. Let's just do. Yeah, well, Mark, I got a bug out. I got my poker with the kids. Uh, I got them for the Thanksgiving. So why don't no just stop in and say hello? Appreciate you stopping by. Watches. watches. I put on the Omega, not, you know, honor the people that are Very nice, guys. I like the diversity on the panel. That's what it's all about. <laughs> so exactly. There's one Rolex on the panel. This is the next one. <laughs> this is the next one because it's exactly the problem that I have with the uh, same as you. There's the Blanc Pen 50 Fathoms, the tribute to 50 Fathoms, the no radiation, 40 millimeter case. Mm. 50 fathoms but it's a limited edition that no mere mortal can get pretty much and they yeah, trade the 45 away. if you want to get man 45 milli that came out i think it was i don't know about that that's that's a little yeah. big that's a little crazy no it doesn't wear that big though the 45 okay fair enough this, this, this the hodinky, is this the hodinky reissue or no the hodinky reissue is the one with the green uh, the orange in the middle right That'll be the mil spec. The mil spec, so, which is a little different. So I'm going to feel a little embarrassed. Mm -hmm. I always get the name of this watch brand. I pronounce it wrong. How did? What's the correct way to actually pronounce this brand? The French way is Blancpain. You don't pronounce Blanc the C. No, you don't pronounce the C Blanc or the N. Blancpain. Okay. Blancpain. Blanc yeah. Blank pain. No, That's I not think in, in the US. Like I always thought it was Blancpain. Pain. Blancpain. Yeah. Like Blancpain. Yeah. Pain. <laughs> Lots of pain. Yeah. Super, chat, super chat, yeah, super, yeah. super chat, super chat, RG, super, super chat. chat, super chat, super chat. Check out my channel. Super we got channel. Omar with a, <laughs> we got Omar with the five dollars saying sorry to stray off topic, but do you think people will move to other brands with Rolex price? Can I, can I interrupt real quick? Yeah. Uh, this this interruption sounds like we should say sorry to stray off topic, but do you think people with other brands like Rolex are <laughs> yeah. no. sorry? Sorry. Anyway, it's all right. It's all right. No, no. Um, so I, I, I will say this, Omar. I think there's no question about it. As Rolex continues to become more expensive, people will definitely stray away to other brands. I mean, they're just, it's too expensive. You know, it's, it becomes way too expensive. Yeah. But it's not just it's too expensive, right? Then it becomes a conversation of it's an investment, right? And it's like, it, it almost gets to the point where you don't get to appreciate the watch because it's so expensive or you paid so much money to get it. And it's just like, oh, well, I don't want to scratch this or wear this because, you know, it's at risk of getting scratched and losing money. Yeah, so, yeah, I think for sure. I, I mean, and there's there's a whole group of people, right, who are not collectors. It's like, you know what? I want to buy my dad for his retirement a Rolex because they, they know that Rolex is a cool name, right? We're talking mere mortals here, yeah. right? They're going to walk in. They're going to say – they're going to laugh in his face. And so he's going to walk out and go walk and go get something else, right? Yeah. And, you got a Breitling or a Tag Heuer or something like that. Which are beautiful watches, which are nice watches. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree with cars. Rolex is yeah. the gateway watch. And we see that a lot, you know, with our group, like how people's collection have evolved, right? I mean, at one point, I think JJ currently owns like eight Rolex, right? Or he owned yeah, eight he Rolex does. at one point. I don't think he does anymore, actually. But no. uh, but even, you know, there's other guys, they own so many Rolex and now they're starting to sell out of it and buy, you know, some of these other brands. Not just because they're cashing in on Rolex, but because the price of Rolex has become so high, they can get so much more horology. You know what yeah. I mean? It's that bang yeah. for buck. You can yeah. cash in on Rolex. If you think Rolex is at an all time high right now, then the idea if you have a if you've amassed like your Rolex collection is to cash out some of them and then move up the chain into other high horology right. or Moser's, like 
you know, we're doing now, like with exploring these other brands. Get you the get the funky dials, Kev. Well, you gotta get honest, the. I'm sorry. If I'm gonna, <laughs> or you get the salmon like, royal oak. <laughs> so, like, if if I'm not gonna be able, to, if I'm gonna have to pay an insane amount of money for a Rolex Submariner pre-owned, then I'll put my money elsewhere and just get on a wait list. And then at some point in the next two years, I might get a call. Right. That's true. But in the meantime, I get to enjoy something else. And then, hey, who knows? If I fall in love with it. You know, the AD might call and be like, you know, and I'm, I'm probably good. I don't need a sub. And so, you know, that's what it, that's where I am. Yep. I yeah. But in the meantime, every price is going up right now as a result of that's the stress. Too. Yeah. Urban Jurgensen. When you see Urban Jurgensen going up in price, you got a problem on your head. I think there's a serious problem. I mean, yeah. When's the last time IWC held a we have a problem. Like, like, yeah, exactly. IWC, yeah. The 2000s, you know, the dot com bubble basically, right what before the dot com bubble. How, how do all of these, you know, watches and all these editions that keep coming out or limited editions, they're all like pre-sold out or sold out? See you, cars. See you, buddy. Be good, brother. Yeah, have a good stream. It's good seeing all you guys, all right? Thanks yeah, for talking about it. Yeah. No, my kids are going to cream me. I'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Go yeah, ahead. I, I, I was just going to say, uh, how come all, the watches you just showed, Marco, so a lot of them were limited editions. They're all, and we're saying they're all pre-sold out. They're all sold out. Some of them, the show parts, like those, I know those are great brands, but would they normally all be sold out? Like you, you're not, you know, we can't get this. We can't get this. We can't get this. Um, it just seems like across the board, prices are going up and every watch is getting sold out. And, and I just don't know how that can be sustainable. Um, yeah, I'm with you 100%. There's no question it's not sustainable. Oh, like I said, when you got brand like these weird niche brands going up in value, and it's, you know, it's not like we're talking, I mean, the 1942, take the 1942, for example. It's a dress watch with teardrop lugs. Most people will hate this watch, right? It's gone up like five grand in the last six months because I haven't shut up about it, right? Not saying that, you know, I, I'm the reason why it went up, but like, Five thousand yeah, bucks tell, for a dress watch. Yeah, I mean, if you tell, you it's telling, a lot of money. You know, I mean, that's, thousands that's of crazy. people. Yeah. yeah, and more people are buying whatever the limited, you know, amounts they can find because I don't know on that particular watch how many do they make per year. Well, that's that's not really the point, right? The point is like it's a dress watch. How does a dress watch climb up in value five thousand? Like, there's I don't know many dress watches that are worth you know that were selling for like twenty grand that went up less than that. It, they were selling for like fifteen, fourteen, fifteen grand US. And they're now twenty, right? Yeah, well, it's a well, big difference. When, when Jorns go up by leaps, by yeah, factors, but that's the of, exception. You know, that's the exception. <clears throat> that's not fair. But yeah, Omar, to answer your question, no question. Yeah, there's there's no question. I think people will move off Rolex for a number of reasons. It's getting too expensive. You can't get it from an AD. Maybe they'll try to get other brands to build that AD relationship. I think that's another factor. And I think. You know, people are going to cash out of Rolex to to get into the the higher horology stuff, and you see that a lot with our group, in my opinion. And I think it's going to be pretty prevalent across the board. I just want to come back to the the Chronomaster Sport because I do want to get the panel's input. Saying, what about resale the Zenith compared to Daytona? Think Rolex wins? Yeah, sure, it definitely oh, wins. That's obvious, course, but yeah, no, qu no question, one hundred percent obvious. But I don't think I don't think any of us here really buy watches for resale. I mean, I can speak for myself. I can't speak for the rest of you guys. Like, it's nice to know that a watch won't sink forty percent when I buy it at retail, right? But it's not, you know, it's not the the main thing that I think about when I'm buying a watch. It also depends on how you buy the watch. I mean. If you're buying the, the Rolex at on gray market, it's going to fluctuate somewhat based upon you know the thirty five forty five thousand dollars you bought it at. If you buy the the Chronomaster used, it'll fluctuate based upon that used price that you bought it. So I mean, the only really crazy factor is somehow getting a, a new at retail Daytona. At which point, every you hit the lottery, right? Right, and there's no quick turnaround with Rolex if you buy it in the gray market. There's just not like. People, you know, Marco, we've talked about this multiple times. People think they can just like buy a Daytona and then immediately flip it. Unless you're buying it from a retailer, an AD, you're losing money on a Rolex if you sell within the first six months. Yeah, no question. Especially if it's Daytona sub GMT because of the hottest, they're the hottest model, right? Like at the end of the dealer is still going to make 10% margin, right? So mm -hmm. you're paying for that 10% margin when you buy it and you're paying that 10% margin when you sell it, right? Yeah. So, yeah, no question. 
within even I would say a year. I mean, unless it, sorry. So all price is fixed, right? All price fixed because the Daytona in a year has gone up more than if you would have bought it a year ago, right? All price, all things, if all things were equal, then yes, no question. You know what I mean? This is just a crazy market. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I bought my VC at an AD <laughs> and now it's like, oh, if I really cared about selling it, I could, but I'm not going That's to. That's how I Mike, felt too, Omar. Mike Omar, saying, no, no. hold on no, one second. Go back I'll to, come go back. back to Omar. Go back I'll come to back to it. I'll come back. The only thing worse than the waiting game is the crying game. That's funny. And Omar saying, until the captain tried it, I was convinced he was watching Netflix. <laughs> stream. Actually, that's the THC. Just that, That's for you, man. <laughs> that's that's the THC the kicking it. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah it's I got, some gu- I got some gummies guys no, I was, marco is racing through that that list i couldn't get a word oh, yeah. <laughs> now what can i say you know i talk fast but, I but no help. no you know what would be interesting marco and the panel is to see out of those watches which ones like rank the watches what's your best to worst watch like your oh, favorite yeah. not to worst that might be you know this is your We're top 100 do that so like uh, the one you like the most and then uh you know in order should I have one oh, of these guys? Mr. Know, like, these fights are you getting into? Oh, wow. Yeah. Your friend Mike saying, is it odd that I don't wear, like wearing a watch, I would hesitate in getting into a fight if I'm wearing, does that make sense? Well, listen, your friend, but I'm, I'm a pretty, I'm a pretty passive person. The last time I fought, I was in elementary school, I think. So yeah, I don't, I, I'm not one to fight very much. Yeah. Yeah. I got um, beat up by your friend, Mike. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Just Justin. say and remind everybody to upvote. Yes, please, guys. Please do upvote. Very, very important. Lord of Flexing, Tim is streaming in a bar, stealing food from down the table. That's hey, man. Great. I hope he's just staying safe out there. You know what I mean? I hope it's it's, right. it's yeah. cold. It's cold in New well, York. I'm, I'm right outside New York. So, so uh, the thing is, right, New York sweater. is becoming – actually, you have to be careful in New York with Rolex specifically. Like, it's becoming everywhere now. Like, are a lot of major cities where you got to be more and more careful. So, yeah, man. Just – Please tell him to be careful. And if you want to tune into him, by all means, hey, be my guest. We got Mark with the ten dollars saying, "Thank you so much, first and foremost, for the super chat." Saying, "Marco, hi, mate. Would you mind giving me your thoughts on the new Omega Seamaster three hundred blacked out?" Sorry, somebody just joined the stream. I didn't see it. Um, on the new three blacked out release with the lollipop hands. Yeah, I'll pull that up one second. So we're talking about pieces. this. Are just so nice. Yeah. I agree. Hold on. Mr. GMT in the house. What's up, buddy? How are you? Let me grab mine from upstairs. I'll be back in a second. In in honor of GMT, stay sexy. Yeah, stay sexy, my friend. Why can't I find it? What a sexy panel. Um, Yeah, this is by far, to me, I love this so much. Okay. Well, I would tell you, get it on a bracelet first and foremost. Um, Yeah, do get it on a bracelet because they have the improved... The issue with the previous model, right, of this was the clasp. The clasp was really bad. It was a butterfly clasp, and it would, you know, you would have this problem opening it. Now they fix that. I like also the sandwich style dial of this. That's I'm really awesome. big fan of that. Mm-hmm. I love yeah. this. The broad hour hands, uh, hour hand is also nice. Lollipop second win. hand. Yes, I'm a bit. Yeah. yeah, I'm a little more ambivalent to this, but I understand why people like it. I just think I don't know. I think I think Sorry, Omega needs like a Omega. classic. <laughs> I think that? Omega needs a classic. I'm just picking on you. I said you don't like Omega. That's why. I think well, because well, I'm wearing an Omega. Omega. Yeah, Omega. <laughs> I think I think I'm Omega kidding. needs a classic design. Uh, and I just, think this is just it. Not a oh, I know, I know. You're busting balls. You're busting balls. It's all good. It's all good. You're busting balls. Yeah. But yeah, I think this it's gorgeous. I I do prefer the blue dial. I'll be honest with you, Mark. The blue dial, but. The yeah. black is, is also really nice. nice. Too, yeah. Yeah. There's if, we, if we were playing a drinking game, every time Marco says dial, we'd, we'd be drunk. We'd be, <laughs> we'd be hammered. We'd be I'd hammered. The whole panel would be passed be out. Finished. I'd have liver poisoning. It would be <laughs> like, watch this sleep. <laughs> Jeez. In honor of Omar, I'm going to crack one of these babies open. <clears throat> Wish me luck. I don't know. Captain's going to be in a coma in about 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> little little oh God, these are only like Delta 8 or Delta 9. These, I don't know what these are not, you know. Yeah. I mean, the longer this is on, the longer this is, the longer this is on the, my screen, Sorry, I the more see. I like it. We got the one and only Captain America joining yeah, the show. Hello, hello. It's like, guys, we're here to Welcome watch to uh, this sleep, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Renko mentions a good point saying the bracelet is really polished. Though. There's a guy on the Omega forums that got it all brushed aftermarket. It looks better. Okay, that's a fair point. Yeah, because so it'll be uh, brushed center links and then polished outer links, right? That's weird. I don't yeah. like that at all. I, I agree. It's a little weirder, but listen, he says he's going to use it as a daily driver. I that's think great. It's still, yeah, it's still it's a great, great It's watch. a great daily oh, yeah. driver watch. Are you kidding? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's all the I fit would. and finish of Rolex. I mean, yeah. we talk about Rolex. It's, I mean, yeah. Omega's right up there. 100%. It's every bit is good. Mm -hmm. And you could probably get a discount on this. Yeah. Well. Hopefully. Yeah. Ask for uh, a discount. It's, it's troublesome. It's getting Haggle. harder and harder. But you, can get them, Haggle. Haggle. you can get them used, though. Yeah. 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 Also, is another option. So even though, like, Omega yep. hasn't been discounting, discounting as much at the AD... They yeah, sell a lot a, of units, so you're able to get them on the used market. And that's a good point, yeah. too. If he's going to daily drive it, even picking up a used one, he can save himself a buck if he's not worried about scratching it up. So Yeah, that's fair. Mark says that's fair. I get. I think bang for buck, it offers everything, movement, adjustable class, et cetera. Yeah, 100%. And they, they have the new movement on this, right? I believe they mm -hmm. have a new movement yeah. on this. Yeah, and again, sandwich dial. I, like, I really like that sandwich dial. The faux patina actually is surprising on this. Uh, it's not like it's not. It's very creamy, mm -hmm. like faux patina. It's not a, a super. I don't. Obnoxious yeah. It's pretty color. mild. Yeah, I yeah, would describe it as not, mild. It's very creamy. Uh, it's creamy. That's the best way. Like eggshell. It's almost eggshell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a custard. I love it. Yeah. I, the strap you choose will actually make it come out or hide. Raincoat says you can get this discount at AD. There you go. Not in mine. You can't. No, not in Canada. No, we're in Canada. Yeah. That's because it's in loonies. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> S stupid maple oh, syrup pesos. I know. I know. Nice. Oh, oh, very so nice. nice. I love that. That's really nice. Yeah. Man. Wow, that looks like a solid piece. Man, what, what the class, Marco. Very nice. I got no comment. <laughs> I love it. Nice strap. So what great. a difference, right, between the live and the. Uh, the stuff yeah, hundred percent. How's the bezel action? Very nice. Oh yeah, it's nice. Much better. Cool. It's much better. I think part of it, all they had to do was that do looks the way better in person. Yeah, the um, way better. Because a lot of the Diver 300 M's have that scalloped edge that just makes it really hard to like grip. Mine, so the it's, bezel is so annoying to grip. It is yeah. annoying to grip. I agree. I think that thing's nice. And yeah, I know, like the Rolex, they use like that. ball bearings and stuff, so it's like really, really smooth. But that looks yep. way better. Yeah, I went to the ID looking at Aquaterras and MC Master Professionals, and they brought this out. Actually, first mm. the the first ID told me they couldn't tell me how much it would be for a used Aquaterra, and I was a uh, watch box for fuck's sake. Oh. So I left there and I went to the boutique, Salty, and they were like, "We also have this other piece if you're interested." And I was <laughs> like, "Oh, wait a minute, this is this is nice." You're like, yeah, gorgeous. <laughs> I love the strap like, on it as well. The strap looks great. Yeah, yeah it does. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that strap really does. It's really nice. Does it it's, re it's really cool. So you got that at the boutique? Yep. Yeah, so that's And they still great. gave me 10% off. There you go. Jesus. It's a, you know, rather than go pre-owned, if the price, all things being equal, I mean. You yeah, get if you the... can get it from a multi-brand ID, why mm -hmm. not? Well, especially right now. Good grief. Everything, all the used prices are so high. Right. Uh, just very quickly, I want to do your friend Mike saying, sorry, didn't mean to hijack the chat. To get back on topic, do you have Tudor on your list? I do not, actually. No Tudor is on the list. There's not really that many new releases from Tudor, Aww. to be fair. Hashtag born to dare. This year, they dropped oh. a little... What did they drop? They, well, they the dropped... Yeah, well, not just the Pelagos. Didn't they, uh, they dropped all the... Different metals in the fifty-eight. Ugh. Yeah, the ceramic and the nine twenty-five, right? Oh, ceramic. God, I like the black. The uh, what was it? The all black. Uh, no. I guess that was a ceramic. I don't like yeah. this, the other one, the silver. They did the bronze. I'm not saying you have to like them. I'm just saying they dropped them. I mean, it's hey, a lot. Let's just dip them in some fun colors and put them on the That's uh, metallurgy. I That's did, expensive. That's difficult. I, hey, I did say the you best watch releases of 2021. The best. Fair, fair <laughs> enough. But, you know, 
I love you. Look, I love Rolex. So, Rolex. I own a few, but yeah. with Tudor, they're the ones experimenting with you know the different metals. What's that? Um, and the Pelagos yeah. is nice. <laughs> the Pelagos, I mean, if we're being I, real, I agree that Pelagos is is yeah. nice. I like yeah. that. So, oh so, shit! So, so Marco, yeah. yeah. So what's a close? What was a close runner-up for your list? What was like? Ugh, this almost. I just realized. I can't believe I forgot one. The I didn't put one. Act. They just put me in the chat. Uh, uh, Alex just put. Only Omega I would possibly get is the three two one. Is three two one was released this year, right? Or was it last year? No, it's I hard it was to tell. Last year. I oh, thank goodness! Whew, thank goodness! Yeah, well, it was when last. When was the PRX? Was when was, was this last year? Tissot PRX? Because that that probably is an honorable mention, right? I think that was. Uh, this that'll year. be this year. Yeah, that'll be. This I think year. that's an honorable mention for sure. Yeah, but I'm a, I'm a wristwatch snob, you know. This, I know, but know? we. Yeah, I got you. This isn't beyond yeah. time. <laughs> oh, we're not talking shit. about good so, watches so marco just... i want to shots fired i want to no. compliment you on a super original way to run this stream with powerpoint never been done before and right thank you so idea. much it's Thanks. a great idea really, yeah, really good yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You should do paid watch reviews one. i've heard nobody's it's, ever done that before paid right. watch reviews. <laughs> how's that omega how's that omega Ari? <laughs> no, it's, it's good it's good oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Like, <laughs> just very quickly, we've got Mark with the five dollars saying thanks, Marco. I always love. For the I really appreciate that, yeah. Mark. Really appreciate that. <laughs> Little seventy nine saying good to see you guys again. Sad it's five a.m. here. Hey, get some sleep. Appreciate you staying up with us. We got Perth Luxury with the two dollars saying. By the way, happy birthday to Perth. Happy, yeah, happy birthday, birthday. Happy birthday, to happy you. birthday man. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Perth. Perthy boy. P happy birthday. Happy birthday to Perth. He's eighty six. 38. Shave some logs off your... Okay, I disagree with this entirely. Yeah. That's enough. Okay. Uh, with the $2 saying, be honest, Tudor only gave us this year shit. Yeah, I got to be honest with you. I'm, I'm yeah. not the biggest Tudor fan to begin with. I'm just like, I'm like a meh, you know, like... Eh. Okay, I wouldn't say any of them are shit. That. I, I wouldn't say any of them are shit. No, none I of think, them are shit. Right. I do like, I do like the, the new Pelagos. I think mm. the new Pelagos is nice. Um, although I will say this, I do wish there was that bracelet. That's the one dislike yeah. I have of it. Yeah. But yeah, like the ceramic, uh, eh, I, I really don't like ceramic watches. So I'll be honest. I think that is garbage. Right. <laughs> Just stay away I, from Yeah. Me. Well, I, I feel a lot better if they didn't If well, and I guess it's a brand new movement. So shit happens, but they are definitely having some problems with it. And I, I think, I think if they release a black Bay 58 with the, uh, with the new Metis, with the new, whatever the hell that movement was, the Metis so, movement. To be yeah. honest with you, you know what I would be surprised is if Tudor ever does Metis certification again, because mm -hmm. the whole point is Tudor's supposed to be affordable, right? Mm -hmm. Now, to me, this kind of sent a message to Omega, like, oh yeah, look at this Metis certification. The first movement we sent, you know, we got it certified, right? Now it's like, they don't really need to send another movement, so they can just save on the, on the cost of certifying their watches by Metis. Yeah. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. I, it was I think kind it of just them to, to like say like, oh yeah, look at Omega. They signed this exclusive deal with Metis and we're I like... Mean, we'll see what happens. I think you're not yeah. wrong. I do know that... Well, the thing is, since I think since Kinesi is selling their movements, it's possible that they may find it worthwhile to do something like that. Maybe. Because then like Norcane could have a, a master chronometer, which would be pretty yes. cool for them, right? Because they use all Tudor movements. Right. Or they're moving to Tudor movements. Right. Yeah, I'd like to see more stuff certified anti-magnetic. I mean, I work in IT. I got magnets and radios and shit like that all around me. Okay, yeah, that's fair. We got Duco Ted with the five dollars. Thank you so much. Saying for the PowerPoint <laughs> license, this should get you another month of Office three sixty five. That's why I use <laughs> Google Slides. It's absolutely free. Thank you so much, Duco Ted, <laughs> <laughs> for the five dollars super chat. I appreciate it. And we do have. Mark with the five dollars saying a rising tide raises all boats. Amen. Keen to hear the panel's thoughts on which brands are going to benefit from Rolex not being available at retail. I think we've already seen it, right? I think yeah. IWC is one. I think another one is Zenith. Zenith has been coming out with some really good mm -hmm. releases, so they're definitely benefiting. Omega, you know, because of the Snoopy, the three, two, one. Um, Grand Seiko's make... gotten rid of all of discounts. Yeah, Grand Seiko yeah. is another one. Two of yes. I would say there's probably an argument to be made that the Grail brands have also strongly benefited because like people are like, wait, if I want a Daytona, I could also just get an overseas or an AP instead. 
Right. I don't know. It's not. I mean, I think every. I yeah, think the, the whole overseas watch benefits. is definitely. If the overseas went from being available to unavailable to waitlisted and boutique only in the course of a year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's about that. as close to a bubble mark, like in in the market, as I've ever seen. Like it's yeah. just ridiculous. But I, sure, think... I think VC is the first thing to come back. Like when things slow down. Like yeah. I don't think I don't think Rolex, Rolex prices ever go down, but I do think that VC might eventually come back. Right, because you right. can go to you can go to my boutique and get and go into the VC boutique and see an entire case full of VCs. Now it's not an overseas, but like most of them are available or they can order them. Yeah, I yeah, think I the Nautilus Aquanaut and the uh, Royal Oak prices had a, you know a most direct impact on the overseas mm -hmm. price increase sure. because you're reaching right. If you want blue dial, blue dial, you go. <laughs> You know, you're trying to get a Nautilus that I had to do it, Ari. I'm sorry. It's, okay. had, it's like in the head now. It's right. Like, no. Every time you say the word, it's Kevin the word will come up. trigger word now. The yeah. dial so, investment, so, baby. The investment. Know, yeah, and you're at the Trinity. So it's kind of like, well, which Trinity has an awesome, you know, uh, sports watch that's comparable in every way? And a lot of folks even like that design better than the other two. Well, it's like so, this one. There is... you go. Like that one. Well, that one. So this one's crazy because it's probably the most bubbly of all of them. It's like yeah. I bought it for twenty four, and it's already up to like I. I think Luxury Bazaar has one listed at thirty two. Yeah, I'll grab the. Try this again. Yeah, it's Luxury Bazaar has it at thirty two. Like, can you give us a case back shot? Yeah, actually, I don't have to do that. I can just do this. Oh, now this is a flex. Yeah. Oh, okay, look at that! I mean, this is just gorgeous well, too. Plus the interchangeable straps right there. So but yeah, I do think Kurt, you are right. Nice. People are like looking away from Rolex. They're like, oh wow, I can you know plausibly afford some of these yeah, higher see, off that, that bracelet that easily. That's another flex. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's awesome. fantastic. It's it's literally like, so I recently bought a black 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 GMT. And it's like, well, this is never coming off the strap ever in my life ever because it's absolutely brutal. But this is just like pops right off. Perth Luxury chiming in with the two bucks saying, Marco, you forgot to include Ming. Where's Mr. GMT? Dude, Mings was are it, cool. Ming had some decent releases. Nothing that great. The mosaic but, was eh. But it won't be manufactured and sent out until next year. So <laughs> right, technically, exactly. no, that's, a, that's yeah. a watch of the year. So for actually, they started pulling up yes. on Corona 24. Did you see that? Uh, no, wait, yours or you're, you're talking yes. about? So some... there's some people who got them early. Like, I don't okay. know what is going on, but yeah. VVV so, VIPs. Yeah, and and so. they have to be returned to fix the hand problem. Then it's going to push them out to 23. <clears throat> yeah. No, so well, wait they minute. actually wasn't there speculation, wasn't there speculation that some people got the, the honey dials that were friends of Ming? And yeah, of course. Up? Not Ming, but uh, Messina Lab. Oh, okay. Sorry, the Messina. All the famous Instagram guys got, got the honey, yeah. It's and now, now they're releasing some of these early. That's just nah. yeah, it's so annoying. Like, so it's did shady. you buy this, Mr. Casio? No, I didn't. Well, so well, I paid, I paid three grand for this, right? And now people are already getting it on IG. They're getting it, and they sent us an email in like September saying, "Oh, well, you're you're getting delayed to like May of next year because we're fixing the movement because the alignment issues." I'm like, "What the fuck?" And then we see on Instagram like. New watch alert got my new Ming 1709 in blue because I have 3,000 followers. Like, wow, you're a prick. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so he gets to flip his early with a market shortage going on while it's hot. Exactly. That's amazing. That's Bastards. really annoying. Well, the fact that their, their website crashed twice and we were up at like seven or eight in the morning for the stream trying to get those fucking things. Duco Ted says S O B. And it's so funny. We Price? were talking. Uh, we were talking, Captain. Like we were going to get one. It's like, what if? What right, if one, right, right. It, 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 no, it's so like, was available. Forty nine went to like insiders. You know? Look at this. You see this one. I'm talking. I, I Duco Ted. A honey. That's how dumb I was. Here we go, Duco Ted. Don't these guys know who Marco Ferrari is? Time to bring up Ming. Um, to go. There you go, guys. The Marco hey. Ferrari. That's that's right. And we got Omar with the five dollars saying, "You guys make fun of Ming, but could be worse. Could be a Moser." Oh. I don't know. I think uh, yeah. you got to read it like Tim, though. Man, could, could, be could be a Moser. Moser. Could be a Moser. I, say, I think he needs a five minute timeout. He needs a five minute timeout. That's, that's right. Done. Now we're becoming the other channel. Yes. <laughs> nah, we're just joking around. Yeah. 
So yeah, I, I wanted to bring this back up because I thought this was worthwhile mentioning. And I'm with you, Mr. Cassio. I really hate the fact that they always release these 40 mil Blanc Pen 50 Fathoms in limited edition runs that nobody can ever get. And they sell buckets load over retail. It's really annoying because these are really nice. But I will say this. Um, what's his name? It's Hafiz Mahmood on, on YouTube. He made a really good video about this, and he said, like, this is actually terrible. The bezel action sounds super cheap, uh -huh. uh, supposedly. Yeah, it's Ooh. really – it's actually not good. I and there's a couple thing. problems. Yeah, there's a couple problems with this watch. I remember that he called out. So it's like, ah, eh, maybe it's a good thing we didn't get these. But, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. The only guy uh, more talented at taking pictures of things than Hafiz is whoever takes pictures of McDonald's french fries. Like, he just, like – Every watch he takes a picture of in his like his videos are like all these beautifully shot videos. I want to buy all the watches. He'll be saying something absolutely horrible at the watch, and I want to buy it because the film the film is so good. <laughs> like the bezel option is horrible, and it's like going across the screen in slow motion. You're like, yeah, I'll take that. This is a fair point. That's the risk when you bought a micro brand watch. Yeah, no question. <laughs> <laughs> Hugo Ted saying, why is that limited? The size of 40 should be the standard. So the original size was technically, I think it was 45, right? That's the original size. Big. Yeah, they're big. Yeah, so they were made big originally, but I mean, they just had to downsize. It doesn't make, it doesn't make sense. I agree. I do think right. 40 is where everybody's kind of focused, like 39 to 41. Yeah, or 38 hey. minks. Um, just saying, saying, Omar, it could be worse. Oh, you could sell your steel sub for a Moser. Exactly. Oh, my God. I don't know who would do that, but hey. You didn't do it's it. Kinda, no. But I think that um, that more modest size is really more popular among watch collectors or people that have done a lot of research or owned a lot of pieces. Right. I don't know that from like... It's not historic. Mass, yeah, but for, for like mass market, like I think 42 ends up being... Fine. Probably yeah. more popular. For just your average guy that's walking into a jewelry store and and trying on pieces. Yeah, because there are things like, you're right, because things are bigger and heavier seem to just indicate more value, right? So like, And, and it's more noticeable. Like, it, yeah, it, it gives more, more risk presence. So, yeah. Yeah, that's a fair point. That is a fair point. But still, I'm, I'm kind of saddened by this, but I mean, eh, when, whatever. When you think of, um, you know, illustrious brands like MVMT, right? <laughs> Super Amazing. popular, right? They're at like all these department stores. Like everyone's like, yeah. you know, I get friends They're like, yeah, I'm gonna watch it too. Check this out, and I'm like, oh my gosh. But those <laughs> ones are like, those are like 45 I'd feel like, millimeter. I'd feel like crap if I had to sell those. Sorry. Yeah, but they're but they're still about, oh, like 44, 45 millimeter case sizes, right? So it's just but the lug to lug is short, no? The lug to lug short. <laughs> yeah, the lug to lug shorter, but it has that that you know wrist presence. Yeah, that's fair. Based on fair. size, guys. I have no comment in, uh, in the, this conversation at all. These Teddy just because the, it's popular doesn't mean I have no comment. In this the Ming Teddy interview was amazing, where Teddy Teddy Baltazar in, like interviewed the founder of he like went to Movement and like interviewed with the guy. Amazing. Yeah, yeah it was funny. It was pretty Fun contentious. It got contentious at one point. It was great. Yeah, it was funny. Funny, funny because he was like legit. I haven't seen it. He was like legit calling him out and being like, "So you just like buy these off of like AliExpress, right?" Yeah, he did. And oh, really? Oh wow. He did. He was like, oh, uh, "Well, I think he was a little more tactful, but he basically said he basically asked him that." And then there's things like he'd be like, "Yeah, so you use Miata movements," and then the guy'd be like, "Well, Miatas are quality movements." It's like not not the one. You what? Got. No. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Duco Ted says it's all about the girth. I agree. It's all about how 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 big it looks when you're holding it. That's it. Oh, uh, we got the Zenith El Primero, the Corona Master Revival A three eight one seven. I love this watch. Like I think shape. this is gorgeous. The shape of it, the dial as well. It's got the sharp. I find it indices. weird. It's really weird for me. Personally. It is weird. That's what yeah, I like about very it. Very vintage yeah. looking, which is exactly the bracelet. Cool. Love it. So nice. I love it. It. It's, it looks great on a wrist because just yeah, the seventies. Look at that. And it's got what's known as the Gay Frères bracelet, which is that ladder bracelet. But what what? It's called the it's called the Gay Frères. I'm not even gay kidding. brother. Marco, yeah, it's 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 Marco. actually what it's. I'm I'm being honest. You're demonetized now. Yeah. Yeah, Gay Frères. You could uh, look this uh, Happy up. brother. Happy brother. Yes. Right. Yes. Happy brother. It was a guy's name. Okay, it was a guy's name. What can I say? Okay. Um. But yeah, this is 
Nice watch. Really nice. I like it personally. It's a yeah. unique kind of shape, like case shape. Very zen. I like it. Yeah, I totally not. not very, right very 70s. 70s. Yeah. Super chat. Super chat. Nice radio brushing. And we got Perth Luxury with a two dollar thing. Hafiz in Perth, serial flipper banned from a few ADs. That's fine. Hmm. That's okay, fine. His videos enough. are amazing. Yeah, his he does videos. Do good are videos. Awesome. He does do good. Thanks videos. for his sacrifice. Oh yeah. That's right. Thank you for your sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I'm as good as banned from my AD anyway. So. Yeah, Perth. Perth just calling him out though. Yeah, no. Come snitches, on. Perth. Snitches get stitches, Perth. That's right, guys. <laughs> This is a rodent-free zone. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, we got plenty of rants. Gorgeous. No, we're good. <laughs> we got this right here. This is another crazy piece. The MBNF LM 101. Uh, this is the kind of redesign of it. Now, I actually know somebody who got this, and he swears by it's gorgeous. He sent me pictures of it. I mean, it's it's absolutely stunning. You know who you are. Shout out to you. This is like MBNF showing Moser how it's done, even better than Moser can do. Yeah, that blue dial, and then obviously Carrie does the finishing of the movements. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. I, I am almost <laughs> curious with some of these pieces. Do you do you actually Brian, wear these? Brian? Are these pure safe queens? <laughs> no, no, you can definitely wear these pieces. I think these are super wearable, especially this one. This so this uh, one is only this is forty mil. It feels weird on the wrist. I had this at the at the New York City watch show. I went to uh, MBNF. And oh, you tried it? On? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. I think it's in my Instagram. Uh, that's yeah. Captain Subby on IG. Captain. Anyway, um, <laughs> check out his channel. Awesome. Check yeah, out my channel. You know, I have to tell you though, maybe it's, I'm just not comfortable wearing a piece like this of this type of this. I don't know uh, horological level because you, you you have this on the wrist and it's unlike anything you've ever worn. So I'm like, what am I wearing? What is this? Yeah, you have to, this you have is to not get... a wristwatch I'm used to. This is foreign yeah, yeah, territory. You, you just you have to get used to the girth, right? Fifteen um, and a half meters on like a dressy girth. watch. Like, yes. You got to get used to the. My question the is, how do you it's, tell the time when the balance is the spinning balance wheel? It's the design. You have to get used to all of that on the wrist. Right, that's fair. But how do you tell the time if it's like seven fifteen, or like? Why are you asking those kind of questions? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Why do you tell the time on a Daytona? It's supposed to tell the time? What do you... Oh, was time on this watch? I didn't, I didn't even notice that when I had DC it on. DC and I mean... LV saying, normally a cushion case fan, but not so much on this one. I think he's talking about the Zenit. That, yeah. That's fair. Yeah, it's yeah, definitely... It's it's a little it's a little out there. No question. Uh, Duco Tess says, Hafiz video make me drool. Any watchy films I immediately want. Yeah, he's awesome. I really yeah, like he's him. really good at it. Uh, Raincoat says hobbyists like the smaller size, like Bourbon Heart said, but 90% of the market is dudes that want 44 inch tag. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, if you don't know anything, I mean, what you want the biggest phone, you want the biggest Apple Watch, you want the biggest watch. There you but go. are those guys going to run into a, a Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms? Like, mm, no, do those need so. to be 45 millimeters? Right, that is correct. Oh, this is no, correct. That's, that's why they, they do the. Long. That's why they do the limited editions in forty, though, because that's what like the the enthusiasts are going to go after, and so they limit a run to five hundred pieces. And now, you know what I mean? They end up selling for way more, and it it has to be an, an enthusiast because they're the only ones that are crazy enough to pay like over retail. Right. So Dupatez like says, "I like it, but can't imagine what outfit matches." So you can actually this actually kind of slides at least part of it slides under a dress cuff. So you could wear this dressed up, or you could wear this, you know, with jeans and a t-shirt. It's it's pretty versatile. Just wear like a watch that's a blue that has a blue dial. I, I use it with a white sweater and short those. shorts. It's a weird. Yeah. Color <laughs> sure. Like, why not? I'm gonna go gardening, and I'll go oh. wear this. Put on this. Watch. We know what Mr. GMT wears when he wears this watch. That's a drinking watch. You go drinking with that on. Speedo. You go to like Mars when you have this on. Yeah. <laughs> Let me say this. <laughs> But guys, I'll be right back. Legacy, I do have to get a quick toilet break. Machine. I'm not even kidding. I do, yeah, oh, I'll be right back. We'll ruin the stream. We'll ruin the stream. Awesome. We can take over. We can hijack it. Yeah. What do we it's our stream now? now. Brian, go. <laughs> I right, just had so a three-way the with YouTube these two dudes. Right, let's get on. All right. <laughs> hey, Birmingham, by the way, thanks for the link for the hat, man. I love this thing. I'm really, yeah. really loving it. It's a nice hat, right? It suits you. It suits you, Brian. Yeah. 
It's a nice hat. It's, it really works. But I mean, when it's Burbing hard, it looks a lot better on him because he's much more handsome than I am. So, <laughs> no, dude, they, uh, no, they're good. They're good looking. They hats. are good. Hats. But I'll That's tell cool. you, they, they wear a little big. So I, I ordered the large, but I ended up getting the medium because it fit just fit my head a lot better. So, but yeah, yeah. great hat, great choice. And then next, when we do a stream together, we'd be twinsies. Yeah. <laughs> Wear our, uh, our our matching Donegal hats. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Don't, don't be wow. jealous. Don't deliver newspapers, right? Don't be jealous. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm not jealous. Don't worry. You got you guys. Steal you guys have that look lead. locked down. Add us the saying, Steal the leads. There you go. There it's you go. About the it's leads. Beyond the time. Leads. When's your next oh. show? When? <laughs> That's right. It tomorrow is beyond night. time for you to steal the leads. <laughs> That's right. Listen, tomorrow night we got the list. We got the we list. got the list tomorrow night on my channel. You know what? I'm actually going to bump the stream up. I think to 10 p.m. so we can get everybody on the panel at the same time. And we're going to go you. through the tiering of brands. I'm going to fill it in tonight, Brian. And I, uh, it in tonight. I hope Marco Wait. doesn't mind that I am advertising. So, uh, Marco, you, hope are, you don't mind. You, you Check 10 out my channel. PM, 10 p.m. Eastern time? Yes. Eastern time, yes. Yeah. The what other time is there? Yeah. Yeah, the only coast. East Coast is the only coast. That's, That's right. right. Yes. I live in Austin, Texas. See this and... watch? You see this watch right <laughs> Thank Oh, you, my Brian. God. Nope, nope. Not after show. That's the after show. Leads are weak. That's right. It's not Darwin time because that doesn't exist. Well, it's off by half an hour. Yeah, they don't yeah. use they don't use clocks in Darwin. Did you know that it would take me forty four hours to get to Darwin by plane? <laughs> like the only <laughs> way to get it? from Austin, Texas, to Darwin, Australia, is so like, forty four hours by plane. Well, I can't pull up the super chat, but I'll read it. Omar says this toilet break is sponsored by Omar. I just want to want everyone to know that Marco scammed me out of fourteen Canadian to buy a veggie sub, and I am still <laughs> mad about it. <laughs> yeah, well, Beautiful. Omar's Omar. won three beyond time drawings and has yet to receive any. No, I'm just kidding. So, in terms of watch size, the size of watches, AP just came out with the release of their offshore, uh, I guess their new offshore chronograph with a, uh, not the grand tapisserie, they went with the petite tapisserie pattern on the dial. Mm -hmm. And it harkened back, I think, to the first offshore back in 1990. So the idea is they went smaller because those are always big, like 44 mm -hmm. mil, and they're coming down to 42. And I know we were just talking about that 45 on the Blanc Pond or however you pronounce, I'm not going to pronounce it like Marco because Blanc -Pong. I can't. Blanc -Pong. Um, so is there a trend, it seems like there may be, of the smaller watches that they've been talking it, it, about over the last year or two? To, uh, I mean, to me, I always see it, anyone, I always yeah. see it in trend, you know, with the company that I, that I deal with, it, it goes up and down. Uh, you know, if I, you go back a couple of years, it was like everything was super big and every, and now you're starting to see everything in my opinion, what I'm seeing and come through the brand that I deal with, it's getting smaller again. Everything's mm -hmm. getting very smaller. They're going with smaller stick hands. You know, everything is getting thinner. So mm -hmm. it's just the trend right now. <clears throat> you got to believe the Black Bay 58 kind of blew everything up. Right. Black Bay 58 comes out. It's two millimeters smaller than the Black Bay. It's smaller than the. It's smaller than a Submariner. It's smaller than. At that time, it was the same time as the Explorer, right? Like the Explorer was a thirty-nine back then, and then it just it just was crazy. People couldn't get enough of it, and so everything is getting smaller again. Um, the Explorer going point. to thirty-six was to crazy. <laughs> well, the Explorer going to thirty-five and a half <clears throat> was crazy. I, I thought they were doing a specific targeting a specific market with that watch, though, right? They were going out there because I thought I was reading something or there was some. Someone was interviewed as saying that they were purposely made this one smaller to go to, to uh, go after that market. The fifty-eight? No, I, I was, you were talking about the no, Explorer. No, the thirty-six oh, the Explorer. Explorer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Tim, they were going after Tim Wright. Yeah, I was going to say that's right. Tim. They got you one know, sale the there. <laughs> you can get the two-tone Explorer for not a oh, horrible price because they don't. He's sell back. Much oh, uh, uh, hey, bud, how are you? Uh, <laughs> oh God, we're <laughs> not the GMT. Oh, there goes. We got the one and only. <laughs> what is happening, fellas? What's up, buddy? Hey, what up, What's happening? Just very quickly, show... I just want to... Sure <laughs> that, uh, that was about how GMT wears his watches naked. I'm going to check on the fire, guys. So, Marco, when you went, when, 
He's Marco, when you went to the bathroom, leads. yeah. When you went to the bathroom, I was like, "All right, everybody, welcome to the Beyond Time YouTube channel." Yeah, <laughs> <I'm still laughs> I did read your super chat, though. I did read Appreciate your super that. chat. We got Omar with the five dog saying this toilet break is sponsored uh -oh. by Omar. I oh, just God. want. Are we gonna get a crotch shot from Captain again? No. <laughs> no. Oh boy, your camera's upside down. Kicked. We're going upside down now, guys. Let's oh get crazy. God. Let's get crazy. I just Flash want to GMT. How do you, GMT, are your eyes okay? Are, you, are they blurry? Are you seeing things okay? Hold up. So talking about... Where, where, am I, where am I looking at? Am I looking at your junk? What am I looking at? Oh. Let's get to the super chat. Let's let Let's him read it. This very chat. quickly. Talk about guys, guys, again. all right. Omar with the five bucks saying the toilet very sponsored by Omar. Thank you very much. Appreciate that saying. I just want everyone to know Marco scammed me out of 14 Canadians <laughs> by a veggie sub. And I'm still mad about it. Yeah, so, so this... You want to know the story on this? So, so what, so what yeah. veggie yeah. sub costs fourteen dollars, Marco? It's Subway veggie sub. That's no, what I eat those all the time. They don't cost fourteen dollars. Downtown, that's what it costs. A trio, that's what it costs. The trio? What do you mean by a trio? A trio, you get a drink and cookies. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you were just talking about the veggie and sub itself. Subway okay. cookies no, no. are the best. Well, yeah, Subway yeah, cookies cool. are the 100%. best. Yeah, I right. I agree. Okay, fine. That's fourteen dollars. Yes. Okay. Right. I agree with but that. still it's ridiculous you get a freaking sandwich with vegetables 14 dollars is mental i load it up like basically like i ask them to yeah, put take... everything on it everything. right same here but yeah you do you ask for extra tomatoes because your tomatoes is like your meat right oh i i ask for extra tomatoes i ask for extra pickle i do yeah 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 okay fair you enough could just get meat <laughs> Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. I appreciate the super chat Omar. but yeah that, I, I got ripped off that's a huge scam. subway has meat yeah, they do. But it's all right. soy-based, so it's completely, they're ripping you off, you know what I mean? I mean, I, I eat mostly vegetarian, so for me, I just, that's just what I get. But $70,000. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so I guess I'm going to wrap this list up. It's my last one on the list right before the two-hour mark, which is good. So this was the last one we did. I really like this. I think this is such a cool, unique piece, and uh, I'm a big fan of MBNF personally. I think this is an awesome launch. So, how yeah. is it not limited, but only a few dozen are made? Yeah, that's what they said. So, I, I don't know. I just kind of, I, I, I don't know what that means. But that's yeah, they're all sold out. Yeah, exactly that too. But this is the last one. This is the showstopper, in my opinion. Well, maybe the VC chronograph was, but this is this is very very nice. <laughs> so sure. the winner winner chicken dinner is not the actual watch; it's the movement. So this is the Moritz Grossman Hematic. And what you'll notice is it's not a typical movement. Very, very atypical movement. Now, this is a hammer gong automatic system that was originally invented by Breguet. It had only been redone one other time by Michel Parmigiani in a pocket watch. And now Moritz Grossman is the first one to make it in a wristwatch. Now, the way that it works is the middle hammer actually stays fixed. It's actually that whole kind of circular thing that like sways back and forth and each time it hits the the kind of pedal or the the two ends it actually powers powers the watch which is just insane it's crazy cool. i mean this I is like so that. yeah this is well, you an see awesome the fingers system. on either side of that middle middle bridge they get pushed yeah. by it and that's right. what winds the watch correct 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 yeah but yeah this is such a this is such a unique piece Okay. I, I felt it needed to be on the list just for that alone. Ring code Did this come out this year? Pistachio. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Ooh, the pistachio. Um, I'm not a fan. I have to be honest. I'm sorry, raincoat. I admit, <laughs> I'm not I really, the I really like the color. I admit, I really that's like fair. the color. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. Yeah. If you like it, listen. It's my list, right? My my top list. So yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I I I know it's a divisive color. I know that. Yeah. So. To answer your question, Mr. Cassio, I know that the original one, because they had done a one-off piece of this, the first one was last year, but oh, okay. that wasn't serial production. This is the serial production piece. Nice. Well, well handled. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is, I mean, it's expensive, right? 45000 It's not cheap. But it's got all the, the factors, I think, of Moritz Grossman, right? Those really skinny, elegant, beautifully polished hands. The frosting of the dial, same kind of thing, like that VC, just gorgeous. And it's one thing you'll notice is they, perp, it's like the purplish shoe of their hands. It's not really blue. Um, I love that. Yeah. They do that with their screws too, right? Yeah, they do that with their screws as well, as you'll see here. 
And they also do brown hens. So you can heat it to blue or you can heat it to brown as well. It's like you just have to be quick. You know what I mean? When you kind of take it off the heat and you're, you're browning it. So, yeah, that's an, another process that they do in-house. But, yeah, this is I, I felt this deserved to be mentioned because, I mean, it's just it's an insane piece of horology. Not something that you'll see every day. I mean, literally, it's been done three times, once by Breguet himself, once by Parmigiani, and then this is the first both of those obviously being in pocket watches, and this is the first wristwatch. I'll be the devil's uh, devil's advocate, and I'll say the the bumper movements of the 1940s and 50s did a similar thing, with the way a, a weight would kind of swing yeah, back that's and fair. forth inside. That's, yeah, that's fair. But that yeah, is this fair. is amazing. This is incredible. Yeah, I had, I felt like I needed to put this. There's a lot of nice ones. Um, God, there's this guy on Instagram. I forget what his his handle is, but he got a piece unique by by Maurice Grossman with that green dial. I gotta find it now. Um, hold on one second. I think Swiss Watch Gang actually did a video on it. It's it's such a gorgeous piece. Oh my god, that's another. Maurice Grossman is doing some very interesting stuff. So yeah, that's my list, guys. What did you guys think? Very good. I'm impressed. Very good. Yeah. I am impressed. No so ever. And your, and your presentation was <laughs> fantastic. Pretty original, right? It was very original. Like, wow. Oh, that Ooh, that's nice. the way it's... You should learn from, uh, you should yes. learn from So this was a piece unique. <laughs> You'll see this outer date and the pointer at nine. Well, this like, is interesting. That's yeah. Good. This is really nice. And this is the hand browning I was talking about, right? So instead of bluing it, it actually turns brown by heat treatment. I, I, love that badge on the dial. Yeah, I love that badge on the dial. It's awesome. Yeah, this dial is actually made by Kerry, <clears throat> Kerry Woodalinen. Um, of use. course it is. Yeah. And then I don't know Ooh. if they get it. Yeah, the, there's some nice pieces in here. Wow. That's beautiful. That's the movement shot right there. So it's wow. as opposed to Longa, which does a three quarter that plate, finishing. they do a two thirds plate. Mm. Um, but yeah, the, the hand engraving. So I think beautiful. actually, Mr. Cassidy, you'll probably know this. The lady who started Moritz Grossman, she was from Lanka originally, right? I don't know the history that well. I wish I did. Okay. But yeah, I'm pretty sure she started at Lanka and then she she went on and, and kind of did her own thing, started the brand. And uh, yeah, now they're doing pretty, pretty incredible stuff. Yeah, they're breathtaking so, stuff. So what do you guys think? Did I leave any good watches off the list? I think you nailed it. There's a lot of yeah. watches I left off the list. There's a lot of watches I yeah, left off the list. Good, so PRX good. is the one that I think yeah. if you were going to go like mainstream, that's probably the big one. That's one for sure. I, I think the Everest as well, the Everest uh, VC, right? But I, I limited myself to two watches per brand, right? So that was off the table. I do kind of feel like the tutors, as, as cool as they are, that like they do a bunch of different materials that just, it's who like a gold tutor is silly, right? Like... Why would you buy a gold tutor? It's kind of silly. I'll say another one that I really liked is the Breitling, the Detora. The salmon dial is super nice. I just wish it was less thick because it's just, you know, it's disproportionately big. Otherwise, I think that's another gorgeous release. It literally only didn't make the list because of the fact that it's too thick. Um, thick earth. Yeah. Right, <laughs> thick earth. Yeah. This is, this, I'm sure there's a ton, a ton more out there you guys can think of, but. How about yeah, a just... Moser Swiss Out final edition with the little <laughs> loading symbol for the uh, seconds? I'm not a fan of those. I have to be That's honest. Hilarious. Uh, I don't love these. Here, hold on. I got to pull it up. It was cheeky. It's fun. You know, it's a fun, cool piece, but at like 30 plus thousand, I don't know. No, not exactly. <laughs> yeah. They're a little outrageous for a gimmick. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was like that stupid eraser watch they came out with. Yeah, that's another crazy one. Yeah. I mean, I just, I, I can never justify it, you know? What it's about just... the new Explorer too? I'm kidding. This is where <laughs> I wish I had stupid Wait, money. You, so you're I telling me buy. I didn't, oh shit, Kurt, you just reminded me. I forgot about the Batman on the new Oyster bracelet. I should have remembered. Uh, I know. That counts? It's that not counts? like, it's no. a new release, you know? <laughs> I'm just oh, kidding. Oh God. <laughs> no, I mean, I think the Oyster Perpetuals are nice, but yeah, there's just not, I mean, it, nothing super special. This came out last year, no? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Because like, what was it? The sub forty one this year? I can't even remember anymore. It's all yeah. just the, on, the roll. Out. It's just it's just all the same crap. <laughs> I put a link in the private chat for you, Marco. It was twenty twenty. Okay. Whew. 
Uh, okay, here we go. It's okay. They're not really bad oh, at anything. Okay. You know what? I tend See, to look agree. at that face. I know I, get, I know I hit a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 These are, so they came out also in the blue and the gray version. I think Washbox are selling these actually directly, right? Oh. So this is Schwarz Etienne. It's the same brand that actually makes the movements for Ming. And they're pretty prestigious to be fair in their own right, a prestigious uh, movement manufacturer. And these dials, the dial, it's made by Kerry Budelainen. The cases are really nice too. It's like very much like a Philip Dufour simplicity. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Look at that small and second pattern. Oh. The dial. It's really That's, nice. Yeah. It's really, really nice. And like the movement the, is super nice. I, I, I like the blue in this, in that one. Thank you. I all the movement as well. Yeah. It's nice. It's really cool. Um, one more kind of mainstream one that came out this year was the Big Pilot 43. Oh, shit. That's a good one. Yes. Yeah. I forgot Absolutely. that, too. Absolutely. That's amazing watch. Yes, that's a good one. That should have made the list. Did the, uh, did the Lange Zeitwerk date with uh, in platinum come out this no year? No longer has made the list. No longer. I'm Swiss. That. I'm I, like, what can I say? You, you I like Swiss it. watches. You know? And then, yeah, but AP as well. Well, not that you'd put them on a list, but. Didn't the did the Aventurine perpetual calendar come out with the blue dial? <clears throat> that Aventurine, the Aventurine dial on the code eleven fifty nine. That was two years ago. Perpetual. This yeah, time, that was years was, ago. I thought that was this year. It wasn't no, that years was two ago. three years ago. It was a new edition. No, and, it wasn't and two three years ago. You could. You said you did not have a Tudor. The Tudor uh, chronograph, the Black Bay chronograph, would be. <laughs> it yeah, may have been last year. I don't know if it was this year, but two no. or three. Sorry, it's 100% ahead, but... two or three years ago. Hold on. I'll bet you how much. $100 super chat. <laughs> Another honorable mention I think needs to go. I, I like the Tudor Black Bay Chrono that came out this year. Um, I think you know that's what? Actually... I, I like the reverse panda you're talking about. Both of them. I mean, to be honest, I always forget those happened because we got all the goofy materials. But honestly, it's the closest thing you're going to get to a Daytona right now. Right? Like, it's just... It's a, they're they're almost on obtaining the revert those. So I said, how many years ago did I say? You said two to three. Two to three. So it's 2019. Two to three years. Pull it up. Which one? Let's see it. Because maybe they might. I think they did another iteration. They always do another iteration, and and like last year, didn't they modify it this year? And everyone was saying, no. Ooh. It's a 50 piece limited edition. I'm pretty sure. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Then. <clears throat> The one I had, hold on. They came out with a new piece this year for the code. Hmm. Doesn't matter. Now, what about the quadruptique reverso, the million dollar one? Yeah, but that's, come on. I mean, we're talking <laughs> the land of unreachable here. It's got to be somewhat realistic, you know? I dropped another one in the chat. Here we go. I, 2019, I another... January 12th. So that's almost, that's almost four years. We got two more links in private chat for you, by the way. Yeah, a okay. couple more. Right. No, we Sorry. count the year. We're not going to go back to the month. It's cool, man. Don't worry. It's all good. That's cool. You're still on the code. I got to get I got to get one, Casio. Come on, help me out. I'm not did a fan. The, did the red fan. did they they had the red dial or like the, it was almost like a like a red wine colored dial? Hmm. Eleven fifty nine. Yeah, eh, I'll pass. That's okay. We're just—I'm not like suggesting new ones, but there's an honorable mention in the in the links in the links. These are nice too. Yeah, I came across yeah. these. Um, but again, the problem was you know two VC right. But yeah, and the they're Everest, so skinny. Like right? if you the scroll Everest down. would have been. Oh yeah. These are so nice though. <laughs> if you, yeah, if you scroll down, I think it shows how thin they are. Yeah, the risk profile. You think we'll see any new releases between now and the end of the year, or we're, no. we're done? Yeah, we'll we'll see a code eleven fifty nine eventually. It'll come. IWC out, still has a batch to go. <laughs> it, you think? What do you think oh, they IWC would that. update? Oh, sorry, I didn't say anything. <laughs> No, Caliber, why could you no, say no, 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 no. Okay, let's say that the International Watch Company were to update some watches. Which watches do you think that would awesome. update, Mr. Cassie Oak? Hey, have a good night, Otis. <laughs> nice to see you on the show. Oh, and he like disappeared now. 
It seems like he's having connectivity. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to dig him out the whole thing. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I, I can't speak. I wasn't supposed to say anything. We'll talk about it offline. We'll talk about it offline. Good thing nobody's watching because right, no. nobody's watching. Right, See, nobody this is how this is how uh, rumors start in in the in the watch world. Yeah, that's what happens when you steal the the leads. Exactly. But yeah, guys, we're approaching that two hour mark. I don't know if we have any. I think the Tudor Panda or the Reverse the Panda, the Reverse Panda are great additions too. Um, the Aventurine Code eleven fifty nine. That's a great watch from three years ago. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, guys, 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 just to show you how right I am. Or- Here we go. Ordemars Piguet dropped new releases in 2021. Maybe not the Aventurine, but they did. <laughs> but we're talking about the Aventurine. New models. Thank you. And you said 2019 is two years. You said two to three. I said one. So we're about oh, well, 2021, 2020, 2019. That's three years. Two years. Two Tone Explorer. Two Tone Explorer won the whole thing, right? That was like the final one. Totally. We should go. Yeah, down. the two tone explorer. Yeah. Go oh, what down. about the trash Oris? <laughs> oh. oh, God. <laughs> that thing sucks. That watch is terrible. I'm sorry. I really hate that watch. I know Gringo yeah. is on Instagram. She's like, I really like this watch. I'm like, oh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, man. No, sorry, Britt. I wrong. hate that watch. She's, she's just wrong. Yeah, it's just, it's not a nice walk. Like, I'm sorry, it's just not. Maybe for, actually for a lady, maybe. For a lady, yes. No, yeah. You know what? They did, but Oris did announce the candy cane di- di- uh, di- uh, divers. All yeah, the candy that. colors. That was crazy. Also, the black base silver was Guys, this year. it's all about the dial on this piece. Oh, it's it's terrible. This is so garbage. bad. This is so bad. It's made this from is... garbage, and it, it is looks like a no, tie dye t shirt. No, you know, no, like it... a tie dye t shirt. Yeah, <laughs> like those kind of... It looks like I left. A, you know, I left something in the fridge for too long. That's what it looks like. So you know what this reminds me of? You know what this reminds me of? Okay. Mm. My wife. This is like several years It reminds years you of your wife? Uh-oh. You yeah. said it was no, hideous? No, no. And then just, you just sometimes <laughs> I recorded like, that. I recorded when, that. When yeah. like Watch Gringo puts out something, it's like, oh, this is so cool. My wife, several years ago, gets these pair of shoes. They're completely trash shoes. But you buy a pair, and the company donates a pair. That's right. about Tom's. Tom. They looked so bad. They're awful. <laughs> But it's like this, like oh, but I'm 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 doing something good with, you know, just this frivolous like why is she spent I don't know she's paying like forty bucks or fifty dollars for these shoes I'm like these are literally ten dollars shoes like mm-hmm. there's barely <laughs> anything to them, and so this one like you're gonna pay extra for this dial that's l- just it looks like melted plastic it's made from trash. It yes, trash. Has this, it looks like microwave gum and grapes. I was just I was gonna say like my, my kids like put like Legos and like a bunch of stuff like in like the fire in the backyard it looks like and this, the is, this is comes big jawbreakers that you get and you bust it open and guys it like I got the, the perfect the description. You know what it is? It's when you look under a desk in high school, you know like all the gum. <laughs> oh my god. All the gum that's oh. there from people sticking it over like the last decades. That's I, I, what it is. I, I, I forgot how old you are, Marco. I haven't seen <laughs> so in, of a in, desk. In like, in Seattle, in Seattle, they have a whole wall. It's this gum wall. Oh yeah, god. that's right. That's disgusting. That's it's disgusting. as it, yeah, it looks as disgusting as it sounds, but it's kind of like a touristy type thing. You know how they put like the locks on was yeah, it, like yeah, the bridges yeah. and lenders thing. Okay, yeah. yeah. So Seattle, it's like you'll take out their gum and just like <laughs> you, you leave a piece and then you take a piece. That sounds like a very is, healthy. Uh, you buy that activity. horse and a child in Africa gets an orange. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like those socks. Those and socks then the child in Oris, the, the child in Africa gives the Oris back. <laughs> No, she, no she thank liked, you. Hold on, yeah. but she. I thought I saw she liked another one that was just a completely silly watch. It like looked like a watermelon. <laughs> oh, it's oh. like a watermelon chronograph, oh. like a no, Kickstarter really watch. Nice. I know on, the one you're talking cool. about. I, that's um, yeah, that's the name that's of that a cool looking watch. So uh, Duco Ted says this is what all the Tide Pod kids proved. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right, Duco Tech. Uh, uh, Ranko other... with the five dollar forty six cent tip <laughs> for the gum desk reference. Yeah, I thought that was an apt reference. You know, 100%. I, I was very it was very appropriate. It was very apt. Very apt. Thank you, Ranko. Yeah. I, I like. I enjoy the fact that you like that joke. Thank you. But yeah, I'm not a fan of that piece. Um, any other cool watches that came out this year? Yeah, uh, the Zenith. How the, about the, the white new... perch? 
Oh, I'm sorry. Purchase. It's a cool dial. It, it was the smoked blue dial that came out in 2021 and the code 1159. Um, the captain has experienced connectivity <laughs> issues. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean the adventurine. It was the smoked blue dial. I love how you're 20, doing the quicker thing where like, you take your phone up to the screen. Um, <laughs> some other cool... There were there a couple... Go. I mean, IWC did the chronograph too, which is also really cool. The 41s. And then, yeah, the Mojave. Yeah, I'm just looking through the the Watches of Wonders. I mean, we got the Sky Dweller on a Jubilee, y'all. Get excited for so, that. I'll say this about Grand State. They came out with some nice releases, like the Four Seasons GMTs. Also, are are pretty nice. Um, hold on, let me pull them up. Yeah, get those. Those are those are nice. Pull those up. Come on, Mark. Did what you? Do we uh, got? I, I missed the beginning. So was the uh, the Paddock Philippe had their uh, weekly calendar, the Calatrava? No, I put the the inline perpetual. Uh, it's Studio, Paddock, gotcha, gotcha. Studio yeah. Underdog is the name of that watch. Yes, the, uh, the watch so bad watch. Yeah, yeah. So I I really like. So I got to see this blue one, uh, the summer one, actually in I when I was in Ireland. It's a nice style. It's nice. But, like, it's just, I don't know. There's something about Grand Seiko that it's just, eh, it's not for me. No thanks. You know? But that one's different than the Omen Watari, though. They look similar in photos, yeah. but it's. See, I don't even know what that reference means. Omen Watari. <laughs> was that Watari? So it's. <laughs> was that Japanese? Was that his attempt? Was that, yeah. were you trying to speak that Japanese? Was... All right, go ahead. Raincoat says the far right one is great in person too. So shiny. Hold on, I want to make sure. Yeah, so it's this this white one right here. It looks great. This dial is probably my favorite one actually. The dial. <laughs> and we got Sean W saying still better than an Aventi. So actually, we do have somebody who has bought a couple of Aventis. Shout out to my guy, the watch guy, for watching the replay. So we'll get. Listen, I would like to see these in person. I'll reserve judgment until I try them on and 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 we see them on stream. Mike has one too. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah. Hey. So it's true. It's true. I forgot about Mike. So we'll, we'll see. Let's reserve judgment, guys. I mean, the affordable tourbillon. Mm -hmm. I you like the that other one that was. Tourbillon. I know, right? Oh, I, try, I practiced that one. Tourbillon. Cassio, what is this? Hold on a minute. I, like I, put I thought I'd sneak in there for you. Johan Benzinger. Oh, yeah. So Benzinger. Oh, Benzinger is with Benzinger. the uh, with the rose engine. He makes yeah. He makes those Gioshi, uh the three handers though, right? Yep. But he was pairing up with somebody <coughs> else, like a, a chrono. Nice. What kind of movement are we talking? Do you know? Not at all. I saw the picture and I figured you might be interested too. What is the movement? It's a Valju seven seven fifty. No, probably <laughs> not. <laughs> it's actually a seventy-seven fifty-three. Oh, a couple, it's close. Add a couple of zeros. Oh, wow. So it's got the um, on the case. It probably has the date. Although the price for a handmade dial is not bad. Well, yeah, what are we talking? Actually, that's a good question. The handmade oh, dial. Oh six thousand stainless steel. That's pretty. That's reasonable, actually. That is definitely reasonable. And because it's a 7753, you can get it serviced anywhere. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sure can. What about Sartori oh. Billard? So I know Sartori Billard came out with a couple of nice releases. Oh, yeah. He came out with the SB05 this year, which is a small hand, small dial. I don't know if he's come out with any releases of those yet. What, what do they usually do in those watches? Because you're you're talking mostly, these are micro, micro brands. Yeah, they're, sure. they're custom. He's, it's him. Okay, right, right. So how many... So you what, call what him you... up, and mm -hmm. his specialty, for example, is uh, just colored titanium. But if you want to get with him and say, hey, I want a metal and dial, he will work with metal and to get a dial done with whatever pattern you order out of metal and's book and color that they'll do. And you have it, you know, he, he'll get together with as Sartori Ballard and metal and they'll order it to the right spec. Get you the dial for metal and throw it in the case. Whatever you want for that chapter ring, whether you want a single ring, double ring, if you want Chinese numerals in there, if you want Roman numerals, if you want no numerals. Really? If okay, you so want let me ask you the this. hands, if you want stick hands, he, he'll do all the stuff for you. Would he do a mean looking dial with like alignment that's like a little long? 
<laughs> if, you, if you want that, he'll do it for you. So, Mr. Yeah. Cassio, let me ask you. I know, for example, oh, one sorry, friend of mine was talking to RGM, and he wanted to have the jewel count taken off of the, the, the movement, and RGM was going to charge him an extra $1,000 to not engrave that. What? Wow. So, I mean, n some people are a little cheaper with what they'll do. Like, Hobbring, I hear, is very flexible and won't add a lot of pricing. Uh, Sartori Ballard is also the same way. Kudoki as well, no? Yeah, I, I haven't. don't know people that have worked directly with him, but yeah, I've heard it's it reasonably. reasonably. I've heard it's very reasonable, yeah. So let me ask you this. So Kerry has his own case shop, right? Like Ophion will make, will get the cases from Kerry's case. Could you get Kerry case, metal and dial, and then like some weird movement, let's say? Well, the the, the one complaint you have with the, the SB04 is the movement is an STP movement, which quite frankly doesn't stand up to the dial, right? It's What's a, an STP? Stone Shitty. Temple fossil, Pilots. Fossil groups, <laughs> like fossil groups. Oh, okay, gotcha, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Got yeah. Sorry, I wasn't aware, actually. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not, Inter it's going to be the, the nicest, finest, you know, thing to wind and all that stuff. It'll keep time just fine. But once you start paying more than the four or $5,000 he wants for the SB04, and you get to the prices of the SB05, then I think he, his new movement is, I think, Schwartz Etienne or somebody like that who's a, a mm -hmm. little more expensive. And price-wise, what are we talking? I think a basic SB04 is around four to $5,000. Okay, that's fair. Five. That's fair. Because, like, the one I always come back to, right, so the top three to me, like, micro-independent, if you will, are Habring, Kodoki, and this guy right here, Torsty Lane. Oh, Lina. Those, those are my top three to me, right? So yeah, those are kind of the benchmarks that I come to. Yeah, those are the benchmarks that I always compare people to. And, like, you can get something from him for about, like, 6,000 towards the, right? The kind of entry, entry, entry base stuff at a base yep. movement. Um, but now you can get the Vosche movements as well. So, yeah, it's interesting what they're coming out with, like, the micro-independence, namely. Yeah. Yeah, to me, there's a lot of value to be found there before they get crazy expensive. We got the medium legend Toyota Mo joining us with the five dollars saying, "Sorry, I just joined. Just want to say, Mister GMT looks incredibly sexy tonight. He looks frozen, yeah. to be honest with you. Yeah. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he's actually moving. He's actually moving. Oh no, he's frozen. His internet a little is just bit. yeah. No, I'm not frozen. I'm still here. I'm just uh, admiring with the six and this oozing out of where you go. <laughs> Toyota Mo, thanks for the, the super chat. Boy, though, uh, you know, we know we can't trust you with a wrench, though. Sorry. Yeah. Hey, man. Too soon. It's, appreciate that. It's I appreciate that, Mo. <laughs> yeah, too soon. Too soon. I've had a few big ones. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Well done. We got Beyond thanks Tom a lot, thanks a lot Mr. Mr. Toyota Mo. Uh, with the two bucks saying to check to see if Mr. GMT is breathing. <laughs> yeah. That's a awesome. good point. Oh, but man. Look, so yeah, you, saw, like I'm, I'm, I, I, you, you don't realize what I'm doing here. I'm posing, right? So this is how you pose. So just get used to it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very good. Stone face killer. But yeah, the idea of a, of a guilloche, just a handmade dial where the guy has to, you know, do like whatever, whether it's 15 hours straight of work without screwing up on the thing, to have it done right the same way it was done before steam and electricity took over is still has that allure to me. So what about, what's that British brand? Um, there's some British brand that does it Raymond. as well. It starts with a G. Raymond. Raymond. No, no, no. It's Garrick, I think it's called. Garrick, yep. Garrick is the one, right? And they'll do yep. similar. He's got uh, the anchor-looking hands that are very unique. Yeah, I don't really like those. I got to be honest with you. Actually, but, the the Bremont Martin Baker was a new release this year. Uh, it was. Yeah, it's the no nice white one. No, no, only they do. you like Pull that. that, that up. They will like it. They will like it if they see only it. Only you like this watch. No, no I it up, and they uh, will like it, Ray. Ali, Ali likes that. They will like it, Ray. The Martin Baker, the second hand with the little ejection. That's quite nice. Cool. Yeah, the second hand is cool. It's titanium case. Nice, uh, comfortable watch. It's a. They just gave one away uh, this week. Really? Where? Where? I want a free Somebody one. Somebody ejected out of an F thirty five over the Mediterranean. Oh shit! Is that all it takes? Let me uh, hop in the. Uh, hop yeah, that's in the what. Jet. That's the way you got this before it went on sale. Was you used one of the ejection seats that Bremont's tied to? Yeah, I know. I'm sitting in one on my Instagram. 
That's Captain Subby, IG. So I, I am. I'm still going to read Martin Baker ejection seat. Yes, that was right. an ejection seat. Uh, and, and I saw your comment too. Yeah. I yeah. thought you oh, knew what that. I say? I, I, what did I say? I forgot, but I. It, oh, I can, it was. I can uh, go to it. Yeah, you're sitting on an ejection seat, and I said, like, what are you sitting on? Like a medieval <laughs> torture device or something? Because right. it looked all. <laughs> I thought you knew, honestly. Uh, no, I, <laughs> I was like, oh, what a, what a character that. that I, have to admit, I, I really like this watch. I really like it. Um, yeah, I'll pass. All right. Uh, I just want to come back to this piece because we got Hobby Bobby saying the Garrick anchor hands are fire. Yeah, I'm sorry. I really don't like these hands personally. <laughs> They're just not for me. It's something that you either love or you hate. Right. But you can order his watch without the anchor hands, just like yeah, the other ones you showed. Hands. You can customize the hands, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. You showed the, the first one with all the. Yeah, there you go. Leaf hands. Nice. Yeah, and if you check, click the link I just put in front of you. That's a real great Gaps, uh, great Gatsby, whatever. You know that movie? But I have to be honest, I will still one. take, uh, what's his name? Pascal Coyon over everybody. I think Pascal oh, yeah. Coyon, he's the best. But the problem is, is watches, you can't buy those god dang watches anymore. That was actually picked, posted by Martin Baker themselves. There we go. Look at that. So you're not they someone's have, calling have, up asking they, for their free watch. Don't they have so they have a watch, right? That you could only get if you've ejected, right, from that from that plane. That's what you were just saying. I think that's the watch that they just released. That well, that was only available if you ejected, and now they're making it available to other people by paying for it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I know what you're saying, but that might be a there might be another watch that you still need to eject before you can get that particular watch. Because I think Ali mentioned that he was trying to get one. Um, and it was difficult, if not impossible, without ejecting. Okay, so I guess this goes to <laughs> the next year's releases. What are you hoping to see? What are watches from brands that you hope to see? I know this is a difficult question. Maybe you thought of watches or you're thinking of watches. I mean, I could go first. I recently posted this on Instagram, but I've been saying this for months. I want IWC to remake Damn it. the Agender the way it's meant to be. I know that's what I want. That's to that's that's the way. That's the only thing I'm really I really care for. No, I, I think uh, everyone would would love a like a Tudor Black Bay 58 sized GMT. Yeah. Yes, that's that another would do one. Very well. That would that be would do very well. Yeah. Lay up for them, or even a Tudor. Would you, so let me ask you, Birmingham, right? You have a Black Bay and you have a Seamaster, right? Yeah. Now, if they came out with a Tudor Submariner. Which I never will. No. But you know what? Even the 41, if the 41 GMT was a little bit thinner, it would be perfect. Yeah, I agree. But yeah, I want to see this. This this has got to come out. Um, what else would I like to see? Yeah, pretty much. The IWC. And you, pretty much got it. you pretty much got everyone st stumped here, right? No, yeah. no one can pick ahead. I think some sports watches as well from uh, what's it called from VC, but that are cheaper. You know what I mean? Like, give me give me something that I can actually buy. <laughs> fifty seven, the VC fifty seven. Who thinks who thinks that uh, Rolex will ever do a Coke a GMT? Yeah, I do. <laughs> you never know. They'll... Oh, look at this. We got I, I watch eventually a ladies Aquanaut without diamonds. That way I can get a uh -huh. smaller Aquanaut. A modern. So that's a good boy. They, they released a bunch of uh, ladies Aquanauts this year, I think, with uh, a lot of different diamond bezels on the uh, on the Aquanaut. And ones that previously had quartz movements now have automatic. Mm. Right. I, so the uh, the Rolex watches with the uh, like the vegetation and vegetation hands and the weird uh the, oh the, the palm fronds yeah vegetation yeah the dot yeah vegetation, vegetation dial, I mean. hands vegetation dial i don't know what to call it sorry the, yeah the vegetable that, dial that, vegetable dial is that this year that was this year actually yes yeah. the yeah, palm right. fronds palm yeah palm fronds i'm sorry i always i know i screwed up the name no, I yeah, the, the mary palm jane fronds. have you know what i also yeah, like sharing, i like how they got my the... screen the Rolex has this got that. Uh, it looks like almost like a wave dial. Have you guys seen that one? Yeah, that Jubilee dial, or the fluted dial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it called? Yeah. The brick dial. Yeah. 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 They did a good job with that. Ooh, your the friend Mike. Dial. Look at this. An adjustable clasp on the Black Bay 58 would be nice. I agree. Yeah. 
Yeah. And he came out with it in the bronze. VC56 no day. Eh, I don't really think that would move the needle, to be honest with you. So not ne not necessarily this watch, but I think what I'd like to see more of, if you zoom in on this, because right, like 20 years ago, uh, or I don't know when, when Rolex first started engraving their rehots, and now you're starting to see a few more watches that are putting the GMT markers on an engraved rehot at an angle and then having a 120 click or 60 click bezel so mm -hmm. it's almost like you're getting a gmt and a dive function watch. and a dive watch in one and so i'd like to see a few more of these in some smaller sizes and breitling actually they do one that's a this was the 45 but they also do it in 43 millimeter um but I would really like to see. Is this is this a this super form function? Is this, is this a super Avenger? No, it's not, is it? No, this is just an an Avenger. They have the Avenger okay. twos, which the uh, the bezel is actually a, a third time zone for a GMT. But honestly, when I'm traveling, I don't really need a third time zone, right? Right. I want the quick set hour feature, and I want to know what my home time is. And when I'm at home, I want to easily record things in 24 hour time for my work. Yeah, but I find a, a, a the timing bezel on a dive watch is super functional for like timing things, and so if I could get that sport watch that combines, you know, the best of a GMT and the best of a dive watch that's waterproof, I would like to see more of those. I don't even care who makes it; I'm not even that picky. Yeah, I don't disagree with you. I don't disagree with you. No, I don't know about this release. I can well, be honest. You know, well, it, well, you don't like that one. The, the, no, the not really. The, even the, the, the is a bit of perpetual, I'm not a big fan of. Oh, see, I love this world timer. Mm, Bulgari just not from it. I'm just only the Bulgari Daniel Ross stuff I like. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, but isn't it kind of weird combining a GMT and a dive watch? If you can I mean, just make I mean, the, I mean, the well, so it's not, not really. Here's, here's the thing. It's not not that I'm using it for an actual dive watch, right? It's like I, I like the 60 minute, like I just want to be able to Sorry, time a diving bezel the last GMT watch. minutes, right? Yeah. It Actually, kind of, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's a fair point. It's like a chronograph and a GMT combined, right? Because you can use obviously the diving bezel to time thing. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's not a bad idea. I would say, does Grand Seiko, uh, they haven't come out with that? With a GMT and a diving bezel? No. I don't think anybody that's, has one. I, I can see them, if anyone's going to Well, you just saw it with the Breitling. Really no, but so, yeah. so a, a brand, I don't know if we want to bring it up. It's Mito. It's, Mito, like, Mito, Mito well. The Mito yeah. Ocean Star. But it's, it's again, okay. it's pretty big. Um, and then that one's like their 80-hour... Uh, I'll pull it up, hold on. It's like that ETA movie. For me on the GMT, when you guys when you, and everyone is clamoring for piece, that, though. that 58 GMT, I would say the current Black Bay GMT, it's, but just shrink it by two millimeters. What's the yeah. size on this? I, I don't remember. I can't, but I'll finish saying that. I want to say 44 if I'm, yeah, if I'm remembering right. But it's a nice no, design. I'm going out on these gummy bears. The gummy bears. Are you on the gummy bears, man? Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, man. Whoa, this, is this is gonna this is gonna be yeah, one man. hell of a funny show, man. Da, 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 da. Yeah, man. I'm on the gummies, man. Cool. Oh my god. <laughs> You're cool. You're cool, man. Remember what happened? Remember, hey, Cap, remember what happened last time? <laughs> you were out of control, bro. I had two. These are like these, these are like you get them in like a Seven Eleven. These are not even real. Like there's nothing, bad, you know. Well, there's. I'll uh, tell you what. It, it, it looked pretty it, real to me. Delta Eight CBD. And Delta Nine, or one of the two, or both. Let's let's get party. Let's get partying, boys. All we right. Yeah, that like that this is funny. If that meter was not forty-four millimeters, that would be nice. So, so let me ask you guys a question, right? Let's go shopping for a second. Say somebody theoretically sold. I don't know. No date submariner. Uh, Stay I don't off know. the <laughs> weed. I don't know. I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> I How love it. Sold it? I don't know. Who the hell right? is crazy enough to sell a no day I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. 
<laughs> just a hypothetical out there that somebody has you know it's like, like bumblebee 16... from the transformers everything like everything's like a new quote sorry like 16 <laughs> maybe you can stretch to 18 canadian what what would you get i'd love to get the the, the panel's take squally squally i could always save me a lot of money <laughs> what am i wearing today it's the yemma yes it's the yemma so you're you're keeping <laughs> Okay, but, but you're keep. Oh, sorry, sorry. This fictitious character. He already has a, a dive watch that he's keeping, like a Panerai yeah. or something. Yeah, like, so, a, yeah. Like, like a Panerai. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. Like, like, Who in their right mind would keep a Panerai and, over a Rolex and a Rolex. nice pizza slice with a suit? You know, he's yeah. There you go. And I think yeah, yeah totally he definitely cool. has a travel watch too. I think like a GMT Master, yeah. something like that. The, he, and he doesn't call it the right movies. name. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what to get, to be honest with if you. If you sold a Rolex, you, you know what, you know what that person, that theoretical person should get? Bitcoin. Another Rolex. 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 No. no. You always get Rolex. Yes. Rolex. Oh, is those gummy bears are kicking in. You got to have a few Rolex. And then it's you can move on. No, so every, no, every, every collection of less than 10 should have one Rolex and no more. Sorry, you don't need more than one Rolex. Yeah. Well, I've completely screwed I, personally, that up. I've got three of them. And personally, I agree. Watches. Yeah, me too. I, I mean, listen, there's a case that you can that could be made for more than one, right? Sure. I'm I'm just saying for me personally, I agree. Like, I don't want a huge collection. I've been pretty, you know, like four watches, like five max. Yeah. So you know, like to have more than one is it becomes, I mean, let's be honest, it's just a little redundant, it's right? Forty percent of your collection. Down. Yeah. Right. But I, I think you you have such an appreciation for dress watches, though. I yeah. mean, this fictitious character. I mean, I'm sorry, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, someone that really likes hand Mr. finishing, X. really likes, you know what I mean, like fine watchmaking. Um, you're an old soul. You're you're not going to sell me on one of those. Mr. You're going to save for I'm the sorry. new ingenieur. Listen, but you know what I've been looking at. So I brought this up earlier in the stream. Is Urban Jurgensen? This is what I've been saying. There's a problem with Urban Jurgensen. Cir Circle sorry. Jurgensen. <laughs> so they've been going up in value, which is mental to think, right? I mean, it's crazy that a watch like this with the name Urban Jurgensen has been going up in value. That's when you know the watch market is headed for over utter doom and disaster. And you like this one more than the uh, guy? This is reminding me of the uh, the Breguet, uh, that blue dial. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can't get I, I the like Breguet that for 15k Canadian, can you? No, there's no way. It'll be way too expensive. Now I dropped a, a link for you. It's and it's it's not a watch you're gonna like the front of, but you can buy it used for about six or seven US. I know, yeah. And that's a hand finished back of a watch that look at all those internal angles. Yeah. So I mean we've talked about this right on stream, right? So the hardest hold on, I'll just pull up. Uh, Parmigiani. Oh, there. Oh, we don't want to see the movement. The, the, the front the side. Yeah, take the front side away. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, I we've said this right on stream. Uh, we should do like a, a learning lesson just on what the different finishing patterns are, what they're called, how they're done, etc. Actually, that would make for a good stream. So. One of the hardest techniques is interior angle, right? So it's where two points meet. And that polished bevel in between this is a terrible picture. Hold on. Okay, here we go. So this polished interior, right? And actually, this is a pretty bad one, as you can see. You can see just how hard it is, right? Because they're so uneven, right? I mean, it's a handmade product, so... They all won't be even, but they're, they're the, not, one of the hardest a, things to yeah. do. None of that has to do with the uh, proper timekeeping, right? That's, that's no, all it's just, just that's it's flex. just, yeah, look at this. This yeah. is, yeah. Pure flex. But yeah, I mean, Parmigiani, they need to change their name. It's Parma, Parmigiani. They just give you a whole lot of watch for your money. A whole lot of it's a toxic watch. You're gonna lose your shirt. You Look buy it. it. So it was just urban jerk yourself. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, Very God, true. it's good to have Toyota Bowen. Oh, Just bad, bad bad says, thing. I don't get the urban jerk here, John. Don't tell you, Mark. <laughs> Listen, guys, Sorry, buddy. Sorry. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, it's fair. It's fair. Yep. Circle Jenkinson, is that what it's called? But you know what I do like? I do like that Moser GMT. Uh, man, that's that's a nice watch. So I will say this, right? So Archie did do that that collection review, which was very surprising. I didn't like drop his... a hint there, Ari. I, no, I'm just just holding it. I, yeah. <laughs> well, we can get to that. We can get to that. Yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm just flashing it around. Sorry. Um, listen, I didn't like his recommendation. I'll be honest. Like, I don't want more Rolex. He recommended getting an Air King. But one of the nuggets he kind of said is to do like a full collection of just like the same complication, right? So like you do a full collection of you know, dress watches or full collection of, you know, divers, full collection of GMTs. I mean, I can get the Moser, the Bruce Wayne, and then just spring for the Kerry Woodalainen, you know what I mean, in the next 40 years, because that's how long it's going to take me to save up 120,000 US to get a GMT6. Um, yeah, I mean, that that's pretty, pretty. Isn't pretty that the, the one legacy machine that has the two different time zones on it? Oh, yes, the LM2, right? I think it's the LM2. Lots of options for you. That's really good. Yeah. But yeah, I like that nugget. You know what I mean? Like then for the a... unboxing in 30 years. Yeah, exactly. Would you oh, no, sorry. It's be willing one. Would you be willing to one. save for an overseas? It's kind of a long way to go. Yeah, overseas is another one. Overseas dual time, right? But it's just that such a long nice. way to go. I mean, right. you're, you're way off at that point. Yeah, that's the problem, right? I mean, I could sell the Pam, but then it's just like, okay, well. You probably still don't get close enough, and you lose the Pam, right? Like, yeah, no, no. I would think about lose Pam, the Pam too. Is you're not gonna like, you're gonna be depressed when you put the value of it. It's just gonna be like, oh god, that's not so good. It's gonna be too well. Bad. I bought that's it for very cheap. Right? So I I paid Kurt three thousand bucks for it, and I have a full set with the plastic case. So it's probably about what I would resell it for. Sure. Yeah, as, yeah. As a dealer, I mean, I think David SW actually has the exact model I have. Hold on. David SW, David SW, David SW. Where is it? She were looking at these yesterday. Yeah, so he's selling it for forty three hundred. It's the exact same model that wow. I have. So yeah, you'd probably have to sell it to and dealer I, for three. Yeah, for about three, right? Three would be reasonable. I wouldn't do it though. I mean, you told no, me I have a story with it, and it's a beautiful watch. No, it it is a nice watch. We make fun of you for it. It's well, Toyota it's an Ball. ideal. I'm trying to make the content. I need some content. I need some ideas. You know what I mean? If I just say, ah, you know, to hell with these other watches. I'm getting a 1942. That would be boring. You, know? you should get an LV box. <laughs> oh, that's not a bad idea. That's also an LV not a box watch. for four watches. Yeah. I've heard you. I've heard you've got enough money to buy one, so you should buy one. Brother. You should that sell means- your fragrances. That should more than cover the price to get whatever watch you want. Listen, this Creed Aventus and Green Irish Tweed. No, 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 no. Nice. Oh on. man, no. The 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 Armani Code Absolute is just killing me. It's amazing. You know what's even better? Yes, yes. I can't. Yeah, no offense, but you're in the budget range, man. Yeah, it's this right here. Tom smells. Ford Neroli Portofino. Big fan of this. Oh my god, it's just so good. And then this is so. This is the clone for it. It's called Alexandria Port by my Alexandria part. Fragrances. Amazing. 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 All right, pull me up. There you go. Thank you. Look at that. It, it's Cap, a blurry. Is that on your Instagram? Let's it's a blurry. It's it's blurry. Now it's you could, I guess, but it's blurry. I didn't take a good. I didn't take a good video. Here you go. I got <laughs> another watch for you for watch. I, the, I also can't favorite speak, watches right? of the year. Not you something you'll buy. Okay. Oh yes, I love this. The finishing on this movement is nuts. Lance, oh, stop it! You're turning me on, bro. Oh, Sorry, I, I need to change my <laughs> unbox. <laughs> when are we doing the unbox? What unbox? I need to get this one. The Breguet. We're so... doing an unbox. Does, yeah, we do have an unbox. Uh, I think Ari does, doesn't he? Yeah, after watches. After watches. This is Marco's stream. That's very pretty. That's beautiful. This is the Ala Resistance. So they actually put the schematics of the tourbillon, I the original see. tourbillon by Abraham Louis Breguet on the case back and engraved it. I have to admit, it. that is nice. I Isn't like that, that nuts? That is a flex. And it's got the peripheral rotor. Yeah, 
God, that's all super nice. Yeah. It's cheap, right? Yeah, it's yeah. like it's like right. one to hundred thousand. Oh, that's it. All right. Is that all? Are you serious? Jesus, I'm gonna buy three of the fucking 158 stuff. Swiss francs, like 175. Right on the credit card, GMT. <laughs> all righty, here we go, Ari. We got a special unboxing. Here we go. Drum roll. All right. Ooh, wow. Nice. Ooh. I can Wait. smell it from here. Ooh. So just to be clear, right? Before before you actually unbox this. Before we unbox this. Right. Do you know what this is? Edinger, yeah. we we're talking about this last room, right? So we 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 put the blame on Todd Levin, right? Shame, shame, shame to Todd Levin. It's all his fault. It's not exactly. Just... But all did right. this now this came pretty quick. Did this yeah, it was, was it a local he it flew to London country. first class? No, there's a local distributor that sells this. It's a about oh. 30 minutes from my house. So it came in two days. It was pretty nice. Okay. All right. Nice tissue. All right. Let's open it up. I'm still holding it. I'm still holding out for the hourglass. It's not an hourglass. This is the wallet. Let's open it up. Oops. Wow. There it is. Oh, that's all for that color. Look at that color. Wow. Oh, and yeah. they got the seal there. It's hard for okay. it to focus. It's hard for it to focus. There we go. Hold on. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. There we go. Very nice. Sorry. The, the nice uh, that, that, that show the, that show the seal. There's no, there's <laughs> the no seal. Wait. Yeah. But the only question I have, are <laughs> does it pass the sniff test? Does it pass the sniff test? Uh, oh, yeah. This smells like money. Wow. Smells right. like money. It's the smell of new leather, right? Stings the nostrils. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> No, it's really nice. I was thinking of getting the, the the bright, vibrant colors or this. I think I'm much happier I got this, for sure. So really happy with it. Congrats, brother. Congrats. Yeah, congrats. congrats. A, I mean, it's, it's a gorgeous Looks like color. a bluish gray outside. Is that the, is that the color? Yeah, What's that's the official accurate. color? That, that's accurate. That's accurate. Bluish gray outside. All, like, all, all that matters is the fire print, man. That's it. There you go. Look at this. Omar says, anyone with is an editor wallet is pure class. There, we go. That, there it's there you can see the embossing and the seal much better now wow. it's, it's focusing properly there we go yeah really nice how, how do you feel how, how do you feel right now i feel great Just tell us i feel great well you know what i i like i like holding on things of quality and so it it feels great to hold on to it i don't let it affect my personal and it's a lesson for everybody it doesn't improve my self-esteem or anything like that it's just I just it's nice like you do it. for your own yeah, yeah I mean it's nice to know when you grab for your wallet every day because that's what you know all guys go for for their wallet it's yeah. nice to know that you have a I good mean, and I usually yeah. buy cheap, like you know 40 50 dollar leather things that are put together and you know what this is just yeah this it's is on a, an this, upgrade. but the thing is right these things can last a lifetime like you can get the leather conditioned yeah. you know like you could literally pass these kind of things down exactly. and it patinas with time which is nice you know you grow yeah. that it's the same like a luxury watch versus, you know, a hundred, two hundred dollar. Yeah. In would, would, is that going to be the daily driver, Ali? Ari? Um, it will be. It won't be the vacation wallet. I'll, I'll have right. another watch for uh, wallet for vacation. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, but definitely it'll be my daily driver for sure. But just not for, uh, not for taking yeah. to the beach. I, I wonder if serious watch collect, uh, wallet collectors like safe queen their wallet. Like, is there any? So I, is there any I went down that the is a, good, that's a great question. Hole. That's a great question. I actually went down the rabbit that hole. That is a great, thank ago. you. <laughs> that you know, is a great question. Looking at like leatherware and leather gear and, and stuff like that, including wallets. And people really go down the rabbit hole on that. <laughs> Look at this. Omar says, oh, yeah. I bought an Enninger wallet when I was in <laughs> London yeah. in 2017. Omar, you're the best. You or as Casman would say, last year. But just very quickly, I just want to answer Thanks, two Omar. questions. Thanks, Omar. Appreciate it. Nice. <laughs> Wristwatch Holly says best two tone Rolex to get. I almost give up getting the root beer. Just get the root beer. That's it. Don't don't get bored. Get the root beer. This is the only one to or the bluesy. Root get, beer or bluesy. Get whatever you beer. like, my man. Whatever you like. Whatever just, turns just you don't on. let them try to don't let them try to sell you a two tone sea dweller. Get a so, yacht master. Those are fun too. Omar yeah, says, are. Marco, now you have to decide. Do you want Amouage Reflection or the Green Irish Street? So they're very different fragrances. I have the homage reflection here. Um, hold on, let me get a sniff of it. This smells like it literally smells like a million. It's called Sex Panther. So it smells like you know laundry detergent. Hundred percent of the time. It's, it's a very soapy fragrance, right? It's like sex like, on the skin. 
it's just amazing. It smells like you're like a million bucks, like somebody who's a billionaire. You know what I mean? That's what it would smell like. Like it yeah, just smells. Well, awesome. then that's perfect because you're pretty close to that, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> and then Green Irish Tweed is like spring on a golf course. That's kind of the best description I have of it. Um, so I personally, I prefer. I got to say the the reflection man. It's just, it just smells so good. It's not even funny. Let me spray some on me. Wow. <laughs> that's like a that's like a five dollar spray right there, and it's a, it's a little. Use <laughs> that carefully, man. I mean, right, like, exactly. Take and treat yourself literally. Right. Awesome. Shout out to the legend, the number one legend, Omar. Legend of the month in November. Yes. Okay, this is a good question. Totemo says, how is the wear on the wall? Is it holding up? And then he replies, he's holding up like a champ, had a bell ring before, which I thought was nice. Ellender is an upgrade. Okay. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah, I have a bell ring, but now I want an edge. God, you know what, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, lest we forget, I might be – I don't know. Jonathan hasn't texted me back about the Montblanc, so hopefully that comes in soon. Nice. So I'll get you guys all into pens next. Wait a minute. Are you uh, getting a month? Oh, blah. Okay, I was thought it was a watch. Hey, what are you doing? I got, I got a little unboxing. Oh, boy. Okay. All right, we don't want to, we don't want to see your gummy bears, man. From oh, Michael is back. We've been streaming so long. Michael's back. He says, I'm finally <laughs> back. What was the best new watch of 2021? Okay, so let's go back to it. Uh, I'll just do a quick recap of all the watches that were on it. Just stumbling back to my chair, guys. Don't worry about that. Oh, it's a beautiful wallet. Damn it. Okay. So this came in. Oh, we are you showing your list? Okay. Yeah, just real quick. So best new yeah, no, no, no. This is the I first think one. I need some Aaron time alone. Got... <laughs> this one got ruined. The the bicycle bicycle ruined. Caress, yeah, this sorry. is the bicycle watch forever. S sorry. Bicycle watch. Um then I like these as well, but I'm sad because I couldn't get either the hab rings. Um so yeah, this makes me very sad. This is another standout. This show part was excellent. I love this. It's all about the dial. The dial. This take is another. A take a shot. The Patek 5236P. It's got to be up there. Cute way, yeah. But then it gets blown out by this Vacheron <laughs> traditional split seconds chrono. I love this Cartier. Beautiful. El Primero Chronomaster Sport. I think this is awesome. This is a, a, a heartbreaker. It's a dog. It's a, dog. It's a heartbreaker because they don't make 40 mil Blanc Pen 50 Fathoms, which is kind of annoying. I like this piece, but not for everybody, admittedly. MBNF LM 101. I got to throw an MBNF there because I love them. And then last but not least is the Moritz Grossman Hematic, the Hammer Automatic, which I think is just insane. So there you the craziest watch, but the winner has to go to, in my opinion, Urban Jerkinson. Let's get a, a first. Got to be the third. split second chrono. Oh, you went. Right. You're gonna say the Breguet Tourbillon, right? Uh no, nah, it's got to be this right here. I mean, this is just. All right, I, I mean, this is beautiful. I I, I can't make yeah. fun of you too much for this. Yes, yeah, this, this is this is spectacular. Yeah, it's got to be. You, this you, right do you have a runner-up and then a uh, honorable mention? Honorable Everest. Mention? In this, no, the list Did is, someone the list say something? I didn't hear that. Yeah. You know, the runner up is hard for me because there's a lot of really nice, like that Moritz Grossman is really, really nice. Um, but I think it's got to be, I, I just love this. This piece is just so nice. Uh, so this, this is, is such a, a nice piece. It's clean. You know, it's, it's just so, like, this is yeah. so nice. It's like a, when I say perfect watch, I mean, like, I can't fault anything about it. You know what I mean? There's nothing I can possibly say that I dislike. It's that's gorgeous. Until Ari ruins it in a minute. You you actually <laughs> like where the date is? Is that what you're saying? Ruin it. No, no everything is not. It's the inline perpetual. You read it Saturday, the 18th of March. Hmm. Like it's it's perfect. I, oh my God. It's perfect for Europeans, but that's fine. I don't mind. Right. What do you think so, about the the sorry, sports uh, the the steel bracelet version that they came up with? I dropped the link in private chat. The 5905? Yeah. yeah. So I haven't gotten to see these in person, so I'll reserve my judgment. The bracelet does look like a, a Nautilus, or sorry, an Aquanaut bracelet, which I don't particularly like, I'm going to be honest. 
Um, but I did see a really nice photo of the dial on Instagram. It doesn't look anything like this. It's more turquoisey actually than take green. A, take a sip, Kim. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is it's nice. I think it is nice. Uh, we'll see. I mean, we have some people in the community that might be able to get one at retail, so that'll give us a better idea. Yeah, the but photo yeah. of a, a sports version of that watch is nice. You know what I dislike though is so Paddock released the six thousand and six in steel. They released this in steel, or sorry, the six thousand seven that blue dial Calatrava. Sorry, that was in steel. This is in steel. The new annual calendar with that blue dial. Actually, that was released this year as well. Hold on, steel. Hmm. All as they discontinue the fifty yeah, fifty-seven eleven. Yes, but what I don't like is the fact that Paddock keeps producing steel watches. Now, steel is supposed to be used. There's the 5212 as well, right? The weekly calendar. That's another steel watch. Now, steel for Paddock is supposed to be used very sparingly, right? It's a very special metal. Now, they're releasing it in higher and higher doses with their dress watches, which I don't know if I like. That's the one thing I dislike, but I love all of those watches. I think they're so they're really nice. This watch here is just killer. It goes yes. so far off their normal track that it looks so cool. So I missed this watch by a week. Like Nico added it the week after I left Ireland, which kind of pissed me off. I got to see the 5231J, which is totally illegible. You cannot even read that dial. Um, it's yeah, it's. It's gorgeous. I mean, it's a work of art, but you can't actually tell the time on this thing. Uh, but it's incredible. Uh, Totemo says, I like the new rose gold complete calendar from VC. I agree. I like those as well. Your friend Mike says, I'm out, everyone. Stay Gucci. Thanks for the stream. Thanks hey, to Mike. you, man. Really appreciate it. And we got the captain before he passes out from all that THC consumption. By all means. CBD, guys. CBD. CBD sorry, um, the CBD. Delta not, 8's a little more than CBD, bro. I don't know what it was, but... <laughs> that's what I said about right, the bath anyway. salts that one night. You got the giggles. Yeah. So so I already have a bottle, of, a bottle of this, and then I got a bottle like of a more special version. And so I went to a local liquor store in like... I don't even know. It was like a Monday. Not I wasn't even gonna buy anything but this i popped in there right yeah this was two years ago in 2017 so uh basically i wasn't gonna buy anything and there was these two guys that are not are not normally there and i'm like hey you guys get like this but you know this japanese whiskey and they reached under the count and i'm thinking i said it as a joke because i know that they're very hard to come by at this liquor store and if the owner was there he'd never sell it to anybody but these two guys just read they're like yeah we got it and they pulled it out. I'm like, are you serious? I'm like, is that for sale? And they said, yeah. So I picked it up. It's like an extra bottle. Yamazaki 12. How many do you have of these? I think you have like 12. I have, no, 12 this, is 12? My sec, this is my second bottle of 12. And then I have an 18. Oh, the 18. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. So that was a nice little find. And uh, I'm very happy about it. Now, especially, so especially what's now. the retail versus like the gray market price? I don't know. You know, this was this one was like 200 bucks. So not cheap. And it sells and, for what, like a thousand or something? No, I don't no, I don't think it's that high. What are we talking? Like five hundred bucks? I have no no idea. <laughs> He's, too high. He's too high to know. <laughs> yeah, Zaki I, I can't answer that question. <laughs> no, I don't know. Well, I wanna know how much it costs, man. It's probably, it's probably I don't know. Well, this one cost me two hundred bucks. So I think they might go for four or something, maybe five, six, I uh, maybe Someone in the chat might know, but yeah, maybe someone in the chat will know. Who I'm knows? just saying they never have it, and these two kids should not have sold me this bottle. It was just total yeah. luck. So and it's I a grabbed... flex. Is that what you're saying? Well, take it, take it back, man. You did the wrong thing, man. No, just saying, just, asking, are you going to drink it or keep it? Drink, drink it. Drink it. Yeah, drink it. I went to the locker, I drank the whiskey. Um, that's, I about, the that's all I have to say. And um, Mr. GMT. Stay sexy, baby. What kind Always, of sunglasses? Brother. What, su what sunglasses are those? What are you What are you wearing today? Those are, are Tom Ford's. You can tell by the tees on the side. They're not. They're, they're not. Oh shit! Never mind. 
The personal. Oh, the personal. 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 Yeah. Okay. The personal. angle threw me off. The angle threw me off. Wow! Look at that. And it looks sexy. Or what? Personal. <laughs> and that Do you want to see it? You want to see personal? Oh, what do you got on the wrist? Which Rolex are you wearing now? The GMT. The same one that's behind, the same one that's behind my back. Beautiful. Beautiful. There it is. Wow. There you go. Well, see, I've got it behind me too. Just so you know exactly what I'm wearing. He always matches too, Mr. GMT. He always is color matched and flawed. Listen, listen, like I've said, if you look sexy, you will feel sexy and you will be sexy, regardless what anyone and thinks. So just do that. That's the green lo green loom, right, Mr. GMT? Exactly. The green loom to match the green hands, the green hand Gorgeous. and the green right. Perfect. Just like yours. That's why you're even sexier than you were before. Yeah. Sure. I pressure tested <laughs> mine today at two different places. It passed one and failed the other. That's not great. <laughs> well, why would you go to two? Because the first one the first failed. Time, why would you... Oh, the first one failed. <laughs> <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. And they wouldn't... Now, let me ask you this, because you got it, you know, serviced, presumably, from uh, where, the source? Or, or no, you got it from... How about a gray? So Gray. You know, so, no yeah. idea. so you can't say, hey, you're... The watch is not pressure tested, or I this the you know I need a new gasket or whatnot. I'll be honest. If I want to return it, I totally can. Uh, I don't really want to return it, but I, I also... love you, Tanner. Hmm. I know, I'm just, just saying, I love Tanner. <laughs> yeah, because no. I wish I don't, return that, don't return that watch. It's no, awesome. I won't. I won't. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's so it's, nice. I'm not going to swim in it. I'm not going to wear it in the shower. Listen, but you can get the seals replaced. Just ask to get yeah, the seals. Easy. You know, it's, it's crazy. Is my, I went to the AD and I was like, can I get the seals replaced? Like, no, only full service the whole thing. What? Yeah. How, what Dude, did, did, okay. Did so I'm, I'm doing it, this. Hold it, on. Hold on. What's it running? This, this here. Corman Jewelers, <laughs> the, the Rolex AD in Austin, Texas, the oldest one, is garbage. They are hot <laughs> garbage. Like I'm all Ben Bridge all the time because Corman has continually been garbage. Don't dox me, bro. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but yeah, hundred uh, percent. I mean, most Rolex ADs are like that. I went to go resize the Bruce Wayne when I got it, right? Mm -hmm. And and the lady's like, "Did you buy it here? Did you buy it here?" I was just like, "No." She's like, "Well, I need to see the warranty card." I'm like, "Okay, here you go." Like, why are you like flip, flipping out? Like, calm oh. down, lady. Like, no, you know what? Ben Bridge didn't care. They're like, whatever. Yeah, we weren't even gonna ask. Like, yeah, here, we'll take a link out. So, yeah, obviously, um, yeah, no, I'm not going to get the seals replaced because, I mean, at some point, I'll just send it to Rolex. I figure if it stops working, I might just take a bath and get it, like, completely yeah. fixed, you know? Uh, it's running fine. Um, so then you don't need to service if, if it's... No, and, 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 um, and I mean... Just get another pressure check and see if it passes. Yeah, the seals, yeah. The seals are preventative. Two, You're not... Two out of three at times. <laughs> like, I mean, that's good enough for a... Right. Leisurely swim. You never know. The other guy could have completely botched it. Toyota Moss says, are you sure it failed? Then Kurt slips in $50. Now you're sure you failed. <laughs> I, I mean... Yeah. No, no, no. It's there. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, I I paid a really good price, and there are some things about it that are. I think I kind of I kind of get. Like they definitely polish the center links. This is gonna get really weird. <laughs> All right, what's he doing with fire? He has a fire uh, Put him back up. Put him back up. I want to see this. Okay. <laughs> oh wait, it's an actual fireplace. Wow, Let's this see. guy's got style. Nice. You've got class, Cap. You've got class. Nice. Um, so what did I want to say? What did I want to say? What did I want to say? Um <laughs> the GMT, yeah. So if it's running well, right? The seals are more preventative than anything. Yeah. Like you don't need to replace the seal. Like it'll still be pressure. Like as long as you screw in the crown properly, it'll yeah. still be watertight if it rains or something like that. You don't have to worry about this. Right. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Or washing my hands. Otherwise, I'm not gonna like sw I'm not gonna swim in it. Yeah. I might I might well, swim it's in more this, of an effect of if you're gonna get diving at all. That's what you're gonna worry about. Yeah, and honestly, at some point I will service it because it is, I'm pretty sure it's a 2007. So it is 14 years old. So at some point I will service it because i have no idea if it's ever been serviced so. yeah mine's a, mine's a 2011 so. this yeah. one i was telling cap, cap can you give that overhead shot 
give the overhead shot with the archers. What do you mean? Oh, this, yeah, those have to. <laughs> I was go. like, dude, you look like you look like you're like in oh, Olympus. Right? Look, look I, at those nice. It. Oh, yeah, those the columns. Beams. Yeah, the columns. Oh, those are those are mine. I haven't taken that out yet. I got to do. This is what I, I like. Do. It. It looks great. You like those? Yeah, I think it looks awesome. Yeah, I do. I like them. I yeah no. You get an interior designer in there. They'll walk in and be like, "Why do you have the mixture of Doric and?" A... Yeah, the whole <laughs> thing would be totally modernized, but that's a whole different conversation. Do you guys see I think... what I was doing over there? No. I mean, yeah, but you're putting wood in the fire, right? Yeah, it was just poke the. I was just poking, poking it. So you that, can't yeah, say I wood on a. You can't say wood on a stream it? with Mr. Is that what she said? <laughs> Try <laughs> taking a fire poker to a gas. I fire. love Omar, man. <laughs> Omar is awesome. Oh boy, guys, we're approaching the three-hour mark. I think it's time to wrap the show up before it goes completely off the rails. I appreciate everybody coming on. We got the captain, of course. We got Lone Star Watch Collector, Mister Cassio, who's currently away, Ari Birminghard. Mr. GMT, I want to thank as well the guys who were here before. I believe we had Brian V. Barsley who had to drop off. Check out Beyond Time. Tomorrow will be on his channel um, doing a ranking of wash brands. That should be a controversial topic. That should be very fun. Uh, so, yeah, guys, be sure to check out the stream over on Beyond Time tomorrow. And, uh, of course, as always, you got to wear your watches. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. Take care, everybody. And stay sexy, guys.